world. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, it's been one of those mornings. I'm surprised I'm even here, but welcome, welcome, welcome. Poor old Hannah, we've got uh, there's something in the air today, and poor old producer Hannah upstairs has got some allergy, and she's um, all blotchy and coughing, and nobody's got an antihistamine or anything to give her. So uh, if I go very quiet, I mean, poor, we, we, my, my heart goes out to her, because I know what it's like to have allergies. Uh, right, 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 right. We've got a lovely day. Do you want to have a look at the menu? Have a look at the menu for today. Coming up today on... Togs and totes. Eight o'clock, we've got... No, we haven't. Oh, that... No, now, now put the whole screen up, because then I can show you the whole... I can show, right. Okay, now, at ten o'clock... No, at eight o'clock, it's John's Fabric Finds. John's Fabric Finds at eight o'clock. Then at nine o'clock, we've got the Linen Wrap Skirt with Jennifer Taylor, that's right. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got Quick Quilts with John Scott. And then at 11 o'clock, we've got Terrific Totes with Jennifer. So I do apologize about that. They're the wrong way around. So now that means I know if you've got one of those funny boxes where it only takes the title, then I'm sorry you're gonna miss out on the two of the shows. I do apologize, that's little Paul's fault. Uh, Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Hannah said it's definitely Little Paul's fault. Um, so anyway, 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 wait, we, want to get, we want you to get in touch. We want you to get in touch. And the best way to do that is via our website, right? What you do is you go to www.sewingquarter.com and the screen will come up like this. There's the screen, there's the screen, there's the screen. Oh, look at that new customer, Wind Festival. Uh, is that today? Oh, that was yesterday. Oh, I do apologize. That was yesterday. Somebody's not on the ball today, are they? Anyway, 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 anyway. What you do is you click on watch the show. Have you done that? There we go. Watch today's show. You click on that. It gets a bigger screen. And then what you do is you just scroll down the page. Now, they have moved it slightly. It's there on the right-hand side now. Send your questions and comments directly to the show. Uh, all you do is you write your message in there. Uh, keep it short, because uh, we do have uh, issues with the amount of um, letters that you can use. That's Hannah shouting, hello! Um, now, while we're on that page, just scroll down the page, because what you'll do is, if you're watching us on repeat later on, or indeed if you just tune in uh, a little bit after we started, there are all the uh, items that Natasha had for sale uh, yesterday. In a minute, they will all disappear, and uh, all the items, as I introduce them, will appear. So if you're watching, if you're watching uh, the show later on, you can always, oh, they've gone. There you go, they've gone, they've gone, they've gone. So all of my items will start appearing. Um, if you're watching later on, uh, the repeat later on this afternoon or this evening, you will see all the items that are still for sale. So, now you see on the right hand side there where it says Winterberry Fat Quarter, that's not available at the moment that way because uh, as I show you items live on air, you will uh, see them there and you can click on them, put them on your basket, talk about, oh, your basket's empty, Hannah. You checked out and bought everything. Uh, what you do is you go, you click and put it in your basket, if you want something, you need to check out straight away. That's all I'm saying. But we do have this uh, um, process in place where you only pay one posted packaging of £2.95 for the whole day. So don't worry about checking out. I will, I am, I, I, oh, bless you. I am very good at this. I am very good at letting you know how stocks are. So if they're running out, I tell you to check out your baskets. And I'm only doing that not due to um, undue pressure, but uh, I just don't want you to miss out. Right, if you're not going to see me, have a look at this slide instead then. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. That is the best way to get in touch with us if you've got a photo or you've got a long message that you want to send in. Studio at sewingquarter.com. I need to sit down now. Uh, right, now before I show you all my Premier Fabrics, I've got three gorgeous bundles to show you. Three really, really, really lovely bundles show you. Um, is it on heat in here? The other day I came in and Jay put the, heat, put the air con on. It was on heat. And no wonder I was sweltering. It feels like it's on heat. But we'll check in a minute. We'll check in a minute. Uh, there's nobody here. Then. Right, bundles, bundles, bundles. Which one would you like to do first, Hannah? The which one? Green, first of all. This is lovely. Look at the fresh greens in here. Be beautiful. Now, uh, uh, I'm going to go through these very quickly uh, because I've got lots, lots of Premier fabrics to show you. These aren't Premiers, obviously. It's a Premier bundle, first time we've seen it. You've got emerald fern and lime green in here. Is it on cold? Oh, good boy. It's boiling here as well. Uh, uh, one and a half metres. One and a half metres you've got there. These are the Spectrum solids, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, at £9.45. I say you've got emerald, fern and lime in there. 
They're gorgeous, aren't they? Really, really lovely. Okay, nine pounds and 45 pence. Next one. Reds. Ooh, those, these, I'll do this later, I'll waft later, but they'll look lovely with the greens. Reds with Christmas coming up and all that. In this one, you get bright red, Christmas red, and port. Port, Christmas red, bright red. They're lovely. Now, these will go lovely with the, some of the fabrics, uh, particularly some of the fabrics I've got coming up in a minute. 9.45 for me to have. And then last but not least, it's called pink. I say nothing. Uh, it's got pink in it. It's got pink in it. It's got, oh, no, isn't that funny? Because the others, oh, hang on. Just wait for the graphics to come in. They can't be playing up already. It's only six minutes past eight. Baby blue, candy floss, and violet you've got there. Baby blue, candy floss, and violet. But it's called pink. At nine, do you know what? I need to roll my sleeves up. I'm so sorry, but it's, I'm in my John Scott haberdashery, uh, not haberdashery, fabric store now, aren't I? So. Now, have you noticed this fabric here is the same fabric that, um, uh, remember the lovely lady from Alice at Caroline, uh, Anne, Anna Sanders? Um, it was, um, it's not, it was the one fabric they don't do with Liberty, and it's that shop that you love so much, the, um, not Sapphire and Steel, that was a television programme. What's that shop you love so much that sells fabrics like that, Hannah? What's your favourite fabric shop, Hannah? No, the one, oh, never mind, doesn't matter. Right, premier, 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 I've got three batiks to show you, three brand new batiks to show you. Now, um, when we've done batiks in the past, they've been lovely quality, but they've had that kind of stiffness to them. If you do quilting with batiks, you are going to absolutely love these three. You're going to love these three fabrics. Uh, where would you like to start? Well, I'll show you all three. I'll show you all three, actually. I'm going to go green first, but I'll just show you the three different colorways I've got here. They're lovely, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Green, red, and like a... Oof, fruity. Oof, fruity color. Start with the green. Start with the green. Now, uh, it, this is so soft. This is like a, you know, the weight of Liberty, uh, Liberty Lawn. It's like that. It's like a really, really lovely Liberty Lawn. Look at that. I, and batiks, so, so clever the way they do batiks. Look at the price. Three pounds and 45 pence for half a meter. Uh, oh, I don't know why it's called 50s. Batik, cotton batik, blender fabric in green. Anyway, it's lovely. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that's the green one. Oh, sorry, that's the green one. I'm going to show those now. Is it red next, then? Oh, there we go. Red next. Look, ooh, this is nice. This batik has a tie-dye feel to it, doesn't it? Like a random tie-dye. Lava is what Hannah's calling it, lava. Because she's seen a lot of lava in her village. Oh, you're calling it llama? Anyway, let's move on, it's gonna be one of those days. But Hannah said, no, I've not seen llama in my village, La lava in my village, just llamas. <gasps> no, she's getting a llama confused with a Shetland pony now. Or a monkey. There's a monkey and a Shetland pony in her village. There's a man who owns the Shetland pony, takes it to say, uh, supermarket, to the supermarket with him. Other uh, supermarkets are available. With what? Oh, is it as I've seen him outside Sainsbury's. Yeah, that, in fact, I'm doing it. Nice. Look at those colours. What do they call this one? Oh, multiple. Multiple coloured pink. We love this one. We love this one. Three pounds and 45 pence. Now, if you're going to blend that in a quilt, how beautiful is that going to be? Because there's no specific patterns. There are other batiks had leaves and rainforests and thistles and everything on. Three pounds and 45 pence. Oh, do you know what? I like, quite like a smoothie now. Oh, hang on a second. I wonder if it'll work, see if the, oh, Anne, 
Wow, now that's a busy shirt. Oh, Alan, hang on, is it Alan or is it Anne? It says Anne and Alan. Is it too busy? I can change it if you want. Is it too busy? It's, too bu it's got red ribbon through it as well. If it's too busy, I'll go and change. If you don't like it, I'll go and change. I don't know if that's a wow or a wah, like that. Anne or Alan from Anglesey. Uh, right now, this is nice. Yes, Anne and Alan from Anglesey. That's an alliteration if I've ever heard one. These are all premieres. These are all premieres, these fabrics today. I like this. Now, this is 100% cotton. It's got a heavier weight to it, this one. This is like a furnishing. It would be like a furnishing cotton, this one. Nice, though, isn't it? Love hearts and stripes. It's kind of got a Scandi feel to it, hasn't it? Uh, now, I'm seeing bedroom. Oh, no, I'm seeing piano stool cover. I'm seeing piano stool cover. Sewing box cover. Pin cushions, accessories. One of those um, things you put over your chair that you put your scissors in and everything. Okay, uh, director Timothy, who's not very creative, obviously you can tell that from his shots, um, saying he's seeing uh, stripes in beige and duck egg with small red hearts. Now remember, that's a metre that you're seeing there. You're getting that for half a metre for four pounds. Now remember, if you need more than a metre and a half of any of these fabrics, you need to ring the call centre. Metre and a half, you're fine on the website. It is on the list for de whoever Dev is to fix it. Paul in North Yorkshire. Your sh oh, now these are all getting very confusing. This is from Paul in North Yorkshire. And it says, your shirt is great, John. Love, Anne. No, I've added the love. She didn't put love, actually. She <laughs> just put, your shirt is great, John. Anne. Um, are they getting muddled up? Our messages, because that's two now. We need, we need another message now to see if people are coming in in couples. Sandra. Could I make a dress with a batik? Sandra, you can make a lovely, lightweight summer dress. It's a very, very fine, lovely, uh, oh, it's beautiful. It's, the quality is gorgeous. So Sandra has a, Sandra's has come through as Sandra, so that's fine. Right, now I've got three spot fabrics for you, which I love, love, love. Here's the three colours. They're very muted, these colours. So you've got grey, Right, okay, I don't know. <laughs> That's grey. We'll go grey first. We'll go grey first. Now, this, oh, this is nice. Now, this is, uh, this is like, uh, it's unfair cotton. But it's got a kind of, it's not heavyweight, but it's got that kind of linen ear. Oh, no, linen look, you see. Linen look cotton dots on grey. Okay, it's nice with my shirt, I think. Um, that's lovely. That's a really, really lovely fabric, that one. 3.95 for half a metre. Uh, well, I wouldn't make a shirt out of it. I'd make a cushion, I'd make a skirt, I could make curtains or a blind, but I wouldn't make a shirt out of it. Even though it's a lovely, it drapes beautifully, look, but I'll do all that later for you. I'll do all that later for you. Paul, love Anne. I'm so confused now. So, Anne, why are you coming through as Paul then? Are you using someone else's email? Right, okay, so I've got two others. Okay, this one. Right, this one. Lilac, this one's called. Lilac. Well, now, we used to say that, um, what was that pink gemstone that we say the lilacs, the cherry blossom pinks? Kunzite, we used to say had lilacs in it, didn't we? I love it. I love it as a colour. I'd say it was more like a crushed raspberry or a damson myself. It's nice, though. It's very, very nice. Look at the back as well. It's got kind of a beige backing to it, look. It's not backing, but the back weave. Strange, isn't it? It's nice. Yeah, so the spots are printed, but it's definitely got a weave to it as well. 
And then last but not least, that means this one must be purple then. Or if you're from Liverpool, purple. Jay, purple. He is, he's there. No, he's busy doing something. Fixing a sewing machine, I think. Not fixing, putting the sewing machine together. Pull your trousers up, Joe. I've got, it's quarter past eight in the morning, and I've got builders, what's it, facing me across the room. Uh, Lindy, look, cotton dots on purple. Purple. Three pounds and 95 pence, very big bike. Three pounds and 95 pence. Isn't that lovely? Now, uh, Jay's uh, fiance made some gluten-free um, muffins for me today. I've still got them, I'm gonna have them later, I wouldn't have them before I came on. Hannah's eaten like a box full already. Two box full, sorry. Linda, lovely fabric. We'll buy some for the ark my husband is making from a very wet Devon. <laughs> is it raining? Oh, because it's raining so heavily. Oh, honestly, upstairs. Why, why is he building an ark? They're saying upstairs. Because it's red. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. It's August, isn't it? You should be having a second of August. Can you believe it? Oh, it's my husband's account while I'm watching on my phone. Paul's asleep. Oh, have you got his credit card as well. Right, okay, now I've got a striped fabric. I love this. This is exactly the same um, make of fabric as the, as the spot as well. It's got the lovely uh, beige backing. I like that. Only one colourway of this. Is it called raspberry? Well, we'll wait and see. Oh, it's called pink. We like this. Oh, it's a bit stroby, isn't it, if I do that? If you've got a big telly, I'm ever so sorry, because I'll be making you feel a bit sick now. <laughs> It's nice though, isn't it? That's lovely. It almost looked, is it my eyes? No, it's my eyes. I'll put that one away. Right, pineapples. Now this has got a much heavier weight, this one. Now obviously this is a meter I'm showing you here. You're, you're, now, this is art gallery. You might have bought art. Oh, look how the width of it. You might have got art gallery from us before. We've had um, lots of art gallery fabrics. I tell you what was art, I tell you what was lovely from the art gallery, the one with love and home. Remember the navy blue one with the writing on? And then there was also a white one with pink and blue flowers on it and everything. This is nice. Look at the width of it. Oh, yeah, white well, look at that one there. These are upside down. Oh, you can't see those. Look, those two are upside down. Oh, here we go. Right, 60 inches in width. Here we go. It's not, look at the width of it. Okay. And then last but not least of my premiere. Oh, no, I've got two, I've got two, I've got two. I do apologise. I've got another art. Oh, the other one's in the bottom drawer. I couldn't see the other one. While you're looking at this close to, I'll pick it up from the bottom drawer. This is nice, isn't it? Look at this one. Now, we're going into autumnal, aren't we? Autumnal patterns here, leaves. It's called arborescent, which means trees, doesn't it, arbor? They're lovely, aren't they? And they're 100% cotton. 100% cotton, and they're very, very subtle in the print. Now, this is definitely a furnish. I'd say this is definitely, definitely a furnishing fabric. Bolsters. Oh, here we go. A window seat. Oh, a bay window. Okay, uh, Hannah's imagined that her house in her village has a bay window, which it does have, but it's overlooking the sea on a stormy day. And she's sitting all cosy with, with her autumn leafy cushions or her arborescent cushions and chocolate and the budgie. You're not eating the budgie, obviously. The budgie is just, in fact, the budgie is this color, isn't it? Oh, okay. The budgie makes sounds. Um, the budgie looks like it's been tie-dyed or batik done these. Right, my last fabric. Now, this is a little bit odd, because this is just, just um, 
Oh, well, you'll see. Remember when Amanda Wyatt made the bag out of the faux leather, right? And she said this was one of the best quality faux leathers that she's ever seen. It's not leather, has nothing animal-wise in it at all. You have to get really, really close to this to see the, um, the skin tone, as it were. It's 50% viscose, 50% PU. It's not leather. It's, it's not leather. It's not leather at all. You can't really see it. Where are you? Where are you on there? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'll tell you what I did. I'll tell you what I did when last time I showed it, as I did it like this. It's like a faux... Uh, it's Hannah talking to me. It's a colour you haven't seen before. This is the green. Um, I remember when we did the colours last time. We had the beige, the pink the blue, and another colour, didn't we? The green hadn't arrived. Well, the, the reason we got the green today is the green's just arrived. And it was very, very popular. Six pounds and 25 pence for half a metre. I can fold that one back up. Uh, morning, John. Yes, another vote for the shirt. I love it. And I love the green tie-dye effect fabric. Paul, not Anne, in Cheshire. That's Paul who likes elephants, that one, isn't it? It's very com complicated, isn't it? Lots of Pauls. We had lots of Pauls in today. Little Paul hasn't messaged in yet, though. So that's everything. So now, let's go through and see what goes with what, shall we? So, well, I'm just about to have a look at that. So if, if you've got the green batik... Now, obviously, this is a metre. This is a... So I'm going to show you half a metre, right? Half a metre, there you go. It's a lovely, lovely lightweight. Now, as I've said twice already today, if you are, if you want, if you want more than one and a half meters, you do need to ring the call center. Lots of you got this in your basket. You do need to ring the call center because we've got that glitch still, which isn't, I mean, fixed yet. Oh, it's 46, 47 inches wide, this one. Or 46 and a half inches, I beg your pardon. 46 and a half, which is... 118 centimetres, 118 centimetres wide. It is 100% cotton. It's nice, isn't it? Now, uh, ooh, decisions, decisions. Oh, right, OK. Um, uh, uh, Hannah's a bit concerned. If you have got this in your basket, uh, we had quite a bit, but there's an awful lot of you with it in your basket. And uh, it's, we think it's going to be a lot more popular than they anticipated, the buying department anticipated. OK, so I've got the green batik there with the green bundle. Now, it's very nice, but that's very safe. Yeah. Now, in fact, so, so this... Is £9.45 for that metre and a half. Are you putting the batik in there? Okay, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna say what Hannah's just said. Because Hannah said she'd now add optical white to that. Yeah. Right? But I'm taking that bundle out after I'm putting this bundle in. There. No, Hannah doesn't agree. I think that looks lovely together. Oh, honestly. Oh, she thinks it, Hannah thinks that's too Christmassy. But the green isn't Christmassy. If you added all of those, you've got all six of those. Maybe, maybe not the port. There you go. That works. Oh, sorry, okay. So, which one's which? So you've got the red fabric bundle there and the batik there, the green batik there. Oh, I'll take, yeah, that's right, yeah. Red bundle is the winner at the moment as well, out of bundles. So. Can you show the spots again, please, from Carolyn Kent? Yes, I'll do it in a minute for you, Carol. I'll just finish the batiks. Which one? What, the spot? 
No, no, but we're still on, we were still on the green. We were still... From... Right. No. Where are you seeing purple in that batik? There's turquoise in it, and there's red in it. Now, that's, you're getting confused with this one. Anyway, let me move that one. The thing is, right, I would put, I'd put the three batiks together myself. With, with some planes, with some planes. So I think they look lovely together, don't they? Okay, so we've done the green. So we'll move on to the, that's the green there, 345 half metre. Lots of you got that in your basket. Lots of you got it in your basket. Right, so then let's move on to the red. Yeah, yeah, and like, and like I said, if you've, got the, um, if you've got pictures of you doing batik quilting or quilting with batik, Send us a picture in. You have to send that to the email. You have to send that one to the email. Yeah, go on then. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. This red one is winning, winning of the batiks. Look, you can see why, can't you? You could make an infinity scarf or eternity scarf out of that, definitely. You could make just a, a long scarf that you tie in the, for the winter, you know, for the winter. I'm going to be a bit like Moira C now, aren't I? You see, me look. So then you've got your coat on there. That's going to look nice, isn't it? Now, winter, these colours are going to really, really give you a lovely lift, aren't they? Lift your skin tones. So anyway, that's the red batik there. Right, now, so Hannah's definitely going to get some of this and make an infinity scarf out of it. Let's put the red cotton with it. At three pound, this is three pounds and 45 pence for half a meter. This is the bundle here, meter and a half for nine pounds and 45 pence. Right, and then, uh, would you put the green with it? Maybe not, maybe not. I'll just have a look, let's have a look. Nah, nah. Now, I mean, it's always well, it's always good to check though, isn't it? Three pounds of, now this drapes beautifully, doesn't it? Look at that. Um, if you did a skirt, you'd have to line it or it'd have to be a very, very lightweight summer skirt with lots and lots of fabric in it to, you know. You know what I mean? It's lovely. It's nice, isn't it? I still think it looked nice as a shirt, though, wouldn't it? Blouse. Do you know what? Do you know what's got the? Uh, the reason you like this, Hannah, is that shop that you like so much. Yeah, you can. Um, they would use a fabric like this, wouldn't they? It's a blouse. It'd be a really beautiful. It would make the most exquisite blouse, wouldn't it? That. The colours very rich, aren't they? Very expensive looking. Nice. Okay. Or even you know how some ladies, when they've got their tailored, like tailored garment on, and they do something like this. Hang on. You know, they do something like that, don't they? They just have, like, a little sash of it like that. No, 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 ladies in smart suits in the city, like Judy Dench, thank you, like Dame Judy. Thank you. <sighs> Hannah's being very, very, um, what's it today? What's the word? Let's move on now to the purple one. Oh, hello, Lorraine. Oh, hang on, it hasn't come through. No, I've got one from Carol. Carol, I will do the spots in a minute. Lorraine, that's a very jazzy shirt, John. Love batiks, fantastic price, Lorraine. I'm going to go and change my shirt in the break then. You all hate this shirt, obviously. No, jazzy. I think jazzy is not a, not a... Yeah, like Hannah's unique. Or oh, eclectic. It's a very eclectic shirt. Anyway, look at the fabric, not me. Uh, this is a lovely colour as well, isn't it, this one? 
scarves, blouses, expensive. It just looks expensive, doesn't it? There used to be a shop in Piccadilly called Simpsons in Piccadilly, and you'd get, kind of get scarves and little blouses from there made out of fabric like this. Because it's like a, the weight is like a, a like a limit Liberty lawn. It's beautiful. Let me just try this bundle with it. I think that's what they've put this bundle together for. Let's have a quick look. But see, the thing is, I love the... Oh, yeah, it's nice. I do love the fabric on its own as well. Um, there's a dirty sippy cup here from yesterday. Sorry, I was just wait. No, no, I nearly drank out of it, didn't I? Because I've got mine next to it. Three pounds and 45 pence, this one. And then this bundle is nine pounds and 45 pence. They look gorgeous together, don't they? But you know what? This fabric on its own, this fabric on its own, let me just drape it. Look, you see what I mean? That's going to look stunning, isn't it? Yeah, look. Yeah, it's lovely. Let me just drape it like that. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? If you cut it on the bias as well, or, or, or a, a, a big, I mean, you could make a skirt out, a big circular skirt out of it. That'd be nice with pockets in. That'd be nice. Okay, Hannah's got a pattern for a very simple little blouse. She's going to try and do it out of that. That would be nice. Uh, I'd get, which one are you going to have, that colourway or that colourway? Uh, no, I was going to say, this is the colour you'd normally wear. With, the hair, your, with your hair, the colour it is at the moment, I'd go with this one, not the red one. Yes. Right, Carol wants to see the spots. Right, here we go. Grey first, then Carol, my love. Let me show you what half a metre looks like. Now, Carol, what were you thinking of making out of it? This, oh, do you know what would be nice out of this? If you've got the bag-making Bible, some of the bags that were in there would look lovely in this, wouldn't they? Oh, if you've got the green batik in your basket, please check out, it's about to sell out. We had loads of it. Uh, 40, well, let me take the selvage off. If you cut off the selvage, it's 44 inches wide. We did um, underestimate how much you were going to love it. 3.95 for half a metre. Uh, now, this has got a weave to it. You can see it's got the beige weave to it in there. But I think the spot is then printed on afterwards. Can't go wrong with spots, can you? But this has got, like, um, I don't know what it'd be like if it was washed. It is a linen look. It's 100% cotton, linen look. It's nice, though, isn't it? 3 95 for half a metre. Remember, all of these fabrics... Oh! I'm down here. All of these fabrics come delivered in the box, wrapped in tissue paper. Presentation's lovely, isn't it? Really, really lovely. I'll put that back there. Um, there's different size boxes. Thank you, Timothy. Uh, shall we drape this one? Let's have a look at this one draped. Ooh. You see, I'm seeing... Uh, I'm seeing, well, apart from fabric, dress... I mean, dress fabric-wise, I'm seeing a skirt or a dungaree dress or something like that. Uh, but, but I'm also seeing furnishing. I'm also seeing furnishing here. Because that would be elegant, wouldn't it? Those spots would be very, very elegant. Carol was interested in the, in the spots. That's why I'm re-showing it. Uh, please check out your basket for the green batik because there's going to be disappointment looming. Oh, it's orange they're calling it, but it's red. Right, so the green, there's only a metre and a half left of the green now. That, sorry about that. And the red, or the orange as they're calling it, Five metres left of the red. Five metres left of the red. Okay, let's just have a quick look. I love this. Look at that. I think that would make the most exquisite blouse. It's a really, really love... Because, you know, normally Batik has that... Um, because of the finish, it has that kind of crisp, hard feel to it. This has got like a silken... It's not silk, obviously, it's 100% cotton, but it's got that... And that... Do you know what? That looks like oil on water, doesn't it? That kind of feel to it. Do you know what I mean? Okay, there's only, everyone's checked out apart from two people. So there's two people got it in their basket. And then how many did you say? Five, meet, five meters. Five meters to that left. 
So no pressure, no pressure, but please be careful. The green will go. There's only a meter and a half of the green left. Uh, but the pinky, I know I'm supposed to be doing spots. There's a bit, no, no, it's all right, it's all right. No, 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 it's all right. Right, how are we doing with this one? Oh, for some reason, they ordered more of this one anyway. So, so we're all right on this one at the moment. It is selling as fast as the others, but it's because there was more of this in. It's nice, isn't it? Maybe, maybe they've got a project in mind for him. Who knows? Could be a Joe Carter, I don't know. What would she make out of that? What animal would she make out of that, do you think? A mermaid, maybe. She's gonna make a mermaid. Right, so we've done the gray spots. Um, so I'll do the darker of the two, this one. I call it damson. It's called lilac. It's a lovely color, it's a gorgeous color, it's a very rich color. Oh, it's mulberry, oh, hang on, is mulberry a fruit? Why do I think it, why do I want to call that mulberry? I don't know why I wanted to call that mulberry. It's a lovely color, it's a rich, expensive color. Oh, hang on, look at that. Oh, uh, Paul, right now, um, Paul slash Anne, uh, I'm not on that fabric at the moment. They're asking, do I need a heavier needle for the machine for the faux leather? I asked that when we did it, and uh, Amanda Wyatt said no. She just used a normal, straightforward needle for it. I said, oh, you have to use a leather needle for that, and she said, you don't, because it's so, it's so fine. And she was going through layers of it as well. I would go for a 14 rather than an 8, obviously, but uh, you don't need a special needle for it. Um, £3.95, half meters. this. Uh, oh, this was good. Oh, it is a berry. I thought it was. Oh, it's slightly darker, apparently, than this fabric. Oh, it like, looks like a blackberry, apparently. Mind you, in Norway, they have orange blackberries, don't they? And they're not called that. And they make marmalade out of it. It's delicious. But yeah, if you think, um, carrots used to be purple, didn't they, in the olden days? Oh, cabbage still is purple, though. Oh, all cabbages. Oh, they, why do they make it green to make it more palatable then? And then this is the other one. They call this one purple, but this is more of a what I'd call a lilac, which is I suppose a purple. Three pounds and ninety-five pence for half a meter. Beverly says that would make a lovely smoking jacket, John. Are you talking about the batik, Beverly? Or this? Make a nice jacket, full stop. That'd make a lovely jacket. So that's the purple one, if you're interested. That's obviously a meter. Uh, the the 395 is a, uh, for half a meter, obviously. So that would be uh, eight pounds for that piece there. It's nice, but look at it. All that fabric there, that's a meter. That's obviously a meter you're getting there. Couldn't do the magic trick today. This isn't Britain's Got Talent, you know. Oi, oi, oi. I just uh, Britain's struggling to find talent with you, John. I have to go, I'm hoping my other shirt is ironed because I'm going to go and change it in the break. Right. I've told you. Lenny, look. Cotton pink, 3.95 for half a meter. Now, Carol, thank you, John, ordered the lilac, the faux leather and the stripe. Oh my word, Carol, what are you gonna make? I, I bet Carol's gonna make bags. This would make, this would make a lovely bag, this would. This would make a gorgeous bag, this one. For a bag. Oh. H Hannah's, oh, poor old Hannah. She's got her allergies today and she's got... No, she, it started before she started, didn't it? Oh, was she? Uh, now, here's the photo. 
Oh, at the spots, Beverly, thank you. This is... Oof. This is faux leather. There's no leather. There is no leather in this whatsoever. Um, I'm not sure if we've still got the other colours, but when we did the uh, bag making with Amanda Wyatt, we had it in navy blue, pink, uh, beige. What was the other colour? You weren't here, were you, Hannah? We had it in different colours, and we were supposed to bring you the green and the duck egg blue that day. We've only got the green today, but the others might be on the website. But she loved working with it. She said it was fabulous. Um, it's polyurethane covered. It's viscose. It's not leather. It's got leather there on the, it's not leather at all. There's no leather in there whatsoever, but it is, it has got, if you were to feel it, you'd think, oh, that's the most like Italian butter soft leather. That's what it feels like. Six pounds and 25 pence for half meter. That's what you get for half meter. It's very wide as well. That's a big bag. Talking about big bags, Jennifer's coming up later, making a big... No, no, she's making a big bag. Not she's a big bag. She's making a big bag. Reva. No, don't change that shirt. Thank you, Reva. I won't change the shirt, Reva. Right, now these are premieres. Well, they're all these are premieres, but these are lovely. These are art gallery, 100% cotton. Oh, now we asked for batik pictures. We'll show you them in a second. Um, this is nice, isn't it? Some art gallery. It's very wide again. Half the stock of this one has gone already. Uh, it's 50, uh, uh, I said, oh no, well, it's 59 inches wide. I said it was 60, it's 59 inches wide, including the selvedge. Uh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's got a gorgeous feel to it. 8.95 for half a metre. Let me show you what half a metre looks like. Ooh, it's very wide, this fabric. Oops. Look, that's a Laura, Laura, Laura fabric as Silla would say. Oh, it goes off the edge of the table. That's, how, that's what you'll get for your 8.95, look. It's kind of autumnal, but without the autumnal colours, isn't it? Like a nature walk. Newfoundland, I'm thinking. Do you know what? It would look nice if you've got one of those, not, not many of us have, but you know um, when you see the pictures in Newfoundland in America and they have like wood cabins and they have lovely leaf colours and leaf prints and everything. Yeah, Hannah's got a shed in her front garden, which doesn't belong to her, but she's just adopted it. Oh, no, cheese falling down. In front. It's not her front garden. It's a communal front garden. £8.95. Lovely. That's really, really lovely. Isn't it? it's, it's very kind of um, calming. That's what it is. It's very, very calming, this one. It's nice, I like that. Right, okay, and then the pineapples. The pineapples. Again, look, I'll do half meter for you. I'll do the half meter. There we go. I love the way that everybody in the gallery knows everything about, about Hannah's love life. Well, there was well, there was the rock climber boy, wasn't there? Right. Look at this, half a metre for eight pounds and 95 pence. <laughs> Joe in Hampshire says, John, your shirt is wonderful, but my husband missed your twirl, so could you spin around again, Joe? Joe, I'm not a performing monkey. I only had a, fr a fruity tea before we came on. Right. Do you like my haircut? Nobody's mentioned my haircut apart from Jay. 
So Hannah's, Hannah's not even noticed. I know she had had the back of her head shaved, but I thought that's because she'd been arrested again. Eight pounds and 95 pence. I thought Ananas, I said Ananas must be a pineapple. In French, is it? Oh, and in Dutch as well. Ananas. Oh, that's in French. It's nice, very subtle, isn't it? That. Let me just hold it up. Oh, apparently, we're one of the only place, places that calls it a pineapple. I know, it's nice. And then there's two upside, oh, there's one upside down one there. Uh, apparently, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah's mum always puts her, uh, her, when she buys a pineapple in the supermarket, she always puts it in the tray, trolley upside down for some reason. She's also got a pampas grass in her garden. Yeah, well, there you go. Look, I think that's, the subtlety on that is beautiful, isn't it? See what I mean? It's really nice, isn't it? That's lovely, really, really lovely. Right, okay, so now, back to the beginning. The multicolored batik. Right, okay, I need to just tell you, before I get this one out, there's only half a meter of the green one left. The, uh, and this one's sold out, sorry, I should have told you. Yeah, it just happened, it just happened as we went to it then. So. Right, now the reason, th this is sold as many units as both of those, but for some reason they ordered more of this, so that's why you've still got some of this available. It's like clouds, isn't it? Moody clouds. Right, I've only got remaining of this now, 10 meters, that's all. They ordered 10 meters more of this than they did of the others, for some reason, don't know why, but look. Oh yeah, lots of people buy more than one unit. Remember, if you buy, if you want more than more than three units, you do have to do it on the phone. No, that's not Dame Judy Dench. Dame Judy Dench was this. This was Dame Dame Judy. That's Dame Judy. See, spot the difference, right? This is more Helen Mirren. See? Red carpet, Helen Mirren and red carpet, that is. It's gorgeous, beautiful. Oh, sorry, you've got pictures to show you. Yeah, sorry, I'll do that now. Uh, made from batik fabrics. Not your mum. Okay, this is Sharon. No, no, that's not Sharon, obviously. Sharon's used batik to make a bag. Oh, she loves my shirt. She made it for a friend's birthday. Oh, that's nice. You could be my friend if you like make nice presents like that. Okay, so that was uh, Sharon uh, with her uh, bag made out of batik. Oh, wait till you see this one. Rachel, is this Rachel Rue? Yeah. Sh she's made a bear. Is that the bear in the bag that she's just made a posh bag for it to go in? It's cute. I like his little ears. I like his little ears. She makes loads, doesn't she, Rachel? What's in the background? Hang on, what's in the back? Is that the microwave? Oh, it's a sewing machine. <laughs> thought she was making herself a quick past. I think she's, um, I thought she was making herself a quick pasty while she was showing it, that was all. Rachel, that's gorgeous. That's lovely, well done. Right, okay. So I've only got that, but it's got to get smaller and smaller because it'll fit in my pocket, you see. Um, that lovely batik. Uh, it's the only one of the batiks left, right? Right, bundles have been popular. Which one would you like to start with? The green one. Oh, Jennifer Taylor just came in and glared at me. Do you think she heard me calling her a big old bag? I said that. She's going like this now. It's out. Oh! She's got no microphone. You still heard her in Scotland, didn't you? I didn't call her an old bag. I said she was making a big bag later. She misheard. I didn't say old. I don't. <laughs> just added that. She's not old. Uh, the green bundle. You get fern, emerald, and lime. 
They could be, oh no, Fern and Emerald are girls' names, aren't they? Lime's not. Um, now I've said that, I'm sure there's somebody watching called Lime. These, for some reason, you know, Tainis who watches us, I think these colours are her and I don't know why. I'm saying, tain, you know Tainis, our friend Tainis who watches. These colours are saying Tainis to me and is it think it's because one of her gin poodles is that colour? Nine pounds and 45 pence. You get half metre, half metre, half metre. That's lovely, isn't it? Right, so that's very popular, that one. Moving on to the red one. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. So you get the port, you get the Christmas red, and you get the bright red in this bundle, half a metre of each. Always good for your stock, isn't it? Always good for your stash. Oh, that's not folded very well, sorry. One job, Jay. Nine pounds and 45 pence. Bright red, Christmas red, and port. It's quite nice, I might do both the other way around, actually. When we did Christmas, Christmas in July, these were some of the best, best those and the greens were top selling colors. Lovely. And then last but not least, we've got a multi, oh, they call it pink. There is a, there is a pink piece of fabric in it. They're lovely colours. I'd have called that, um, I don't know what I'd call that, bubble gum I'd have called that. You'd have called it what? Uh, really, like girly colours, those very feminine girly colours. You've got baby blue, you've got candy floss, you've got violet in there. I'll scream and scream until I'm sick and I can. That was Violet What's It, that was Bonnie Langford, wasn't it? Playing Violet What's It in... No, it wasn't Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, it was a t TV series. Little Lord Fauntleroy or something like that. Nine pounds and 45 pence for a metre and a half. Look, I've only got a few minutes left. Right, recap time. So there are your three bundles. Let me just remind you, this is the only batik left and it's selling very fast. Hannah would like some. If Hannah's mum's watching, please get some of that. How much do you need, Hannah? Well, that'll go round you. She had, she's got her weigh-in today. She's got her Slimming World weigh-in tonight. She's had two muffins already this morning. And, and we're going out for lunch. Well, we have no choice in the matter. We have to go out for lunch. We're being kicked out of the building for half an hour, so we've all got to go out for lunch. Say this again. I can't hear you. Say this again. Oh, right. There's, there's less than 10 metres, and there's 10 of you got it in your baskets. No, 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 it's not an invite, it's that we have to leave the building by half past 12. Uh, nice, isn't it? Uh, you, you've got, yes, we've had the email. Oh, it came, do you have a word with Bex then? You've got Bex up there with you. I'm having issues, hang on. You've got Bex up there with you. Now look, one, we have one fabric that I love, we haven't really fussed about much, have we? Um, you Red Hearts, I was going to sing a song then, but there's no, is there a song called Red Hearts? And they're upside down. Uh, you've got colour woven cotton stripes in beige and duck egg with small red hearts. That's what it says on the tin. I think it's saying kind of um, uh, kitchen for some reason. Don't you think it would look nice in the kitchen? Yeah, blind, a blind in the kitchen. I'm thinking of a biscuit tin for some reason, but you couldn't make a biscuit tin out of it, could you really? Not quite sure what you'd make out of it then. You could try. Wicker basket lining would be nice, put your bread in. We, we all make out that we live these, these, we get literally go to the supermarket, we eat it, right? We don't have wicker baskets and, and put them. Oh, now we had a lovely message on Instagram. Well, I had a lovely message on, uh, was it on Instagram or Facebook last night? Um, but for, and I don't know how to forward it, but for Hannah, um, apparently there was a, a, they're selling um, potato bags somewhere, but also this lady, I can't remember if it was, the lady sent a picture of some fabric that she thought Hannah would love. Isn't that nice? I think it's ever so nice when people think of... Oh, she says, thank you ever so much. Please keep adding her on Facebook and Instagram. Right, pink stripes. Is there anything you'd like to see before I go? Because I've got to go in a minute. 
Yeah, exactly. Ooh, it's gone cold suddenly. It's a bit cold. Do you want to make, just switch off a little? I don't want Jennifer to be cold, because at her age, you know, she can't take cold stuff. At three pounds and 95 pence, linen look, it's 100% cotton, it's linen look striped fabric, and it's three pounds and 95 pence for half a meter. You don't realize what, how noisy the aircon is until they switched off, do you? It's funny, that. Linen look cotton pink striped fabric, three pounds and 95 pence. That's lovely. Right, it's reminding Hannah of something, but she can't recall what. Pink and white stripes, maybe. Oh, that'd make a lovely one of those cafe aprons, wouldn't it? Right, I've only got 50 seconds left. What would you like to see in my last 50 seconds? Faux leather. Faux leather. Always very popular. When Amanda Wyatt made a bag out of this with the elephant fabric, it went, and we, and we had all the colours but this one and duck egg blue. This one's now arrived in stock. Uh, the other, so the pink sold out, and I think the blue sold out, and we had the um, beige left, I think. Now we've got the green, pale green. It's lovely. There's no leather. There's absolutely no leather. It's 50% viscose, 50% uh, polyurethane coating. 625 half meter. Don't go anywhere. Jennifer Taylor up next. Not with her old bag. She's got the most gorgeous wraparound linen. Linen. Real linen. Linen, I say. Got gorgeous linens. Did I say linens? Be here in three minutes from now. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK based call centre. Alternatively there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. For this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do a running stitch which is a really simple row of stitches that is creating a nice straight line for you. So we're going to start with the back of the fabric, we're going to bring the needle up through the back to the front and we're going to make a small stitch. Now the size of this stitch would really depend on what it is that you're doing but I'm just going to keep this to a sort of small to medium sized stitch so you can see where I'm going. So you can see I've gone in and out of the fabric and I'm going to bring the needle back through to the front with the same distance of the stitch I've just created. I'm going to go back into the fabric and then out of the fabric. So this is great if you need to sew something at home. Um, there's also another quick method where you can also just use the needle and make several stitches at once by piercing the fabric as you go along. So you can see that I've got three stitches there on my needle already, and now I just need to pull that through. So there we have a running stitch. Britain's favourite sewing show is coming to London and will be there with bells on. The Great British Sewing Bee Live is taking place over four days from the 21st to the 24th of September at XL London. If you're a hobbyist dressmaker who's been inspired by what you've seen on the sewing bee, a seasoned professional looking for new ideas, or just fancy taking dressmaking up for the first time, this is the event for you. We are proudly sponsoring the Demo Theatre with live performances from designer, author and former sewing bee contestant Jennifer Taylor throughout the weekend. And with our discount code SQD, you'll get £1.50 off your ticket. So what are you waiting for? Grab your tickets now and join the buzz at the Great British Sewing Bee live this September.
we have got some of the most exquisite uh, linen in this show. And Jennifer Taylor's here to show us how to make this, <coughs> excuse me, this lovely wraparound skirt. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. All panelled, and then he's got that lovely, lovely tie here as well. Uh, what we've done is we've put three, um, we've put three um, bundles together for you. But first of all, let me show you the pattern. Let me show you the pattern. It comes in the two different size ways, as per usual. Size ways, size, size choices. Obviously, there's exactly the same pattern, but the smaller one goes from... 8 to 16 is the smaller one. There you go, £8.45 and pence is the McCall. Mrs. Wrap Skirt, or Skirt Sir, Learn to Sew. Oh, so it's a beginner, it's also a beginner. We'll ask Jennifer about that in a minute. Size is 8 to 16, £8.45. Pence and 45 pence. Uh, we're making um, this one here, C. We're making C out of those. I'll explain all that in a minute to you. And then, of course, uh, you've got the other size, which will be the 16 to 24, is it? Just running it through the graphics. Graphics are very slow to down. 1624, there you go, 1624. Now, what I need to explain to you is there are four different skirts. A, B, C, and D. We are making C, which is this one here, the little one here. Uh, the fabric in the bundles is enough to make that skirt there. If you want to make these three skirts, you'll need more fabric. But the bundle we're making, we've got a solution for that, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Let me go through the three bundles that we put together for you here. Got three lovely colours. The one that Jennifer's already made is in the navy blue. Just put that back there in there so it looks nice. And the one that Jennifer's made is in the navy blue. Let me start at that in there. What you get in here is the beautiful... Now, when the graphics come in, let me have a look at the graphics. It'll say enzyme washed. I'll explain what that means later. Oh, it doesn't even say it in the thing. It's enzyme wrapped. It's enzyme washed uh, linen. So I will tell you, now it's 100% linen, this. 100% linen, you get a metre and a half of fabric, you get the interfacing and you get the thread for £22.45. There's the um, bundle, the, the still. Then we're going to which one? This one here. Now, this is one you're not going to see Jennifer making. She's made the navy blue, and she's going to make the duck egg blue. But then there's also this. Isn't that lovely? That's like a jute color, isn't it? They're calling it gray, but it's like a mushroomy, jutey color. Really, really lovely, isn't it? So you get a meter and a half of that. You get interfacing and thread for 24, 22 pounds and 45 pence. There's the still. Oh, that's limited, that colourway. And then last but not least is one you're going to see Jennifer uh, working on now. Um, obviously, we're not going to make the whole skirt. It'll be techniques and, and Jennifer's tips for the pattern and everything. This is lovely, isn't it? Look at that. Look at the, and, and that really shows up the texture of the skirt. It's 100% linen. 100% linen, this. Uh, it's duck egg. 100, uh, one and a half metres. Interfacing and thread. There it is on the... Um, in the still. Now let's just have a look at the still of the skirt. So you can, oh, I'm going to come back to me first. Here we go. Have a look at the still of the skirt because it's lovely. Really, really lovely there. Hello, Jennifer Taylor. Hello. Oh, that was a very curt. Hello, John. In a bad mood with me. Oh, look, we, I didn't call you an old bag. I said you were, you were making a big I'm bag sure later. I'm sure you did. A big oh, bag. It's a good job I love you. It's what? It's a good job I love you. Now, do you think this shirt's too much? <laughs> John, no. I love it. Oh, good. Thank you. Why do you think that? Because people are to mess you again. Oh, that's very jazzy. Oh, I love it. Thank you. I love loud prints anyway. So oh. we're... we're uh, <laughs> Well, we, yes, we're, kindred spirit, we're, we're kindred spirits in that. We didn't, we didn't, we, we didn't, we didn't uh, chat earlier. We're both individuals. <laughs> right, right, right. Whatever. Come on, come on. Go look. So now you're just going to talk us through the pattern and techniques on how to make yes. it. You're not going to make the whole thing, are you? Because uh, well, well, we'll try and get as much, so oh, okay. as much as we can as possible. Okay. I'll be... um, but I want to make sure we're covering off the important okay. things. And for me, with any um, item, whether you're making a bag, 
or a skirt. Um, it's all about getting the pattern right. So uh, we've done, uh, to be fair, like quite complicated, um, the, the, definitely the bag that's come here, it's quite a complicated pattern. Yes. There's a lot of notches that we need to get involved with. So for me, it was about talking about the tools today. Right. And it's very similar with the skirt because there's lots, as you can see from the pattern in front of me, there's lots of detail on this skirt. Even though it looks very simple, it's a wraparound skirt, there's no zip or buttons. There's a lot of information on the pattern. So we need the right tools to be able to get those transferred onto your fabric. Brilliant. Okay. So the first thing I just wanted to um, highlight here for you, so I'm working with the, the front piece at the moment, um, and we've got a couple of things that we need to take care of. So you can see that I've kept the entire size range of um, on this pattern. So I've got from 8 through to 16 on this one. Right. But obviously the pattern comes in two different yeah. sizes, so I'm just working with the one size pattern at the moment. Um, and this is a great way, so if this is a skirt that you think actually this will look great for me, but for a family member or a friend, so you want to have those different sizes, then you need the right tools to be able to oh, get those oh, transferred. Oh, you could wear it to go somewhere and someone say, oh, I love your skirt, where'd you get it from? And yeah, then you've yeah. got the pattern And pack then I've got ready. the pattern to yeah. make it. So it's always worth, where possible, not cutting into the size, because we all fluctuate in weight mm -hmm. as well. Oh, of course, totally. um, So that's the, the first bit <clears> here, so you've got the different lines here. You've also got some dots in this area here. Right. So there's the one dot there, and then if you follow me up here, you've got another dot there. We come down to you. Move it across, yeah. There you go. Okay, so there's two dots here. This is for where your um, pocket goes. You know, you know I love a pocket. Oh, um, nice. So this actually does come with an option to have an inseam pocket as okay. well. So these circles are related to the pocket. You've got these you sections. You have to be a bit careful. You'd have to be a bit careful with a wrap-around skirt with pockets because you don't want to be doing having your pocket doing that, <laughs> do you? Really? Well, you have to be a bit because that's what that's why I love about yeah, pockets yeah. on inseams is you can go swishy, 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 swish. But if you've got a wrap-around skirt, you do have to be yeah, just a little yeah. tip. There. Well, it does it does come across quite a far across the body, yeah. so we might be okay. But okay. you are right, John. So be yes. careful how you swish in those pockets. And um, we've got the side um, triangles here, which is indicating obviously making sure your your um, your dress part the side seam of your dress matches up, and then we've got the last bit here which is our dart yes. okay so this is another one and then the last but not least uh, there's a we, lot here you yeah go on, before you go on on the dart here mm -hmm. hang on i've got my glasses on so it stops there for all sizes all is that sizes what it's yeah certain patterns will have different varying dots for different dart um, for different sizes but on this pattern it's a generic size dart for all patterns so because so, on some darts it gets bigger or bigger smaller or smaller it? or it's deeper it's exactly the same right and then the last thing over here Sorry. is we've got a fold line Again, let me come to you. There you go. Yeah. We've got a fold line here. So this is really important. That gives us our facing for our skirt. So there's a lot of information on what looks like a very quite simple skirt. Oh, yes. And I, I thought it was looking a bit wide, but because it wrapped, that's the centre front That's the centre there, front. It? Then it folds over and we have an attached facing on right. here as well. So there's a lot of information on yes. this. So we need to get all of that information onto the fabric, right. which is why I wanted to go through the right tools for the job first. Okay. And also, before you go any further, mm -hmm. somebody will email in. Um, who some, uh, one of our ladies is very, very tall and she says, oh, how can I make the skirt longer? Because on this pattern, it's actually got... A line, yes. hasn't it, where you can cut along. And what you do is you'd split your pattern, wouldn't yeah. you, move that's, that that's section correct. down. And um, I'm glad you also said that. So I don't know if we can, um, you might need to zoom out a little bit to get the two reference points. So we have here, we've got our waistline here in the top section there. There's our waistline. Yeah. And then if you look down here, we have our circle with the cross, and that's indicating our hip line. Okay, so when you, on the pattern, it should tell you the distance between the waist and hip. Right. And then you can take that measurement yourself or on yourself because it may be that you need to shorten or lengthen. And you're right, absolutely right, John. That's the cut line that you would make to make that adjustment. You'll also notice there's some, there's some information here. Basically, this is the difference between the hip size on the, on the grading chart and the finished size of the garment in the hip. Okay. So, yeah, Karen. Um, so if I just take the back of the pattern... Um, so the hip size on, let's say a size 8, because it's the first one here, is 33 and a half inches for the hip. That's, you would go for a size 8. But if you look here on size 8, the finished size is 37 uh, inches. So right. there's a difference there of, well, it's three and a half. Is that your ease? Is that's that your the ease? ease. So again, that's giving you a little bit of information, but it might be that actually 
I don't need that much cheese, so you might prefer to cut an eight rather than a ten size. It's always worth checking yeah. out your pattern before you even get in with the scissors. Exactly. All right? Exactly. Um, um, now, Anne Sorry says, do I need to buy two bundles? As the pattern says, says two and a half meters or one five eighths or forty. Hang on. Do I need to buy two bundles? As the pattern ten says, two point two five. In oh, right. No. The, the, it depends which skirt, which skirt you're, you're going for. Let yeah. Me, let, the one we're making is C, mm -hmm. right? And on C, you need, you just need, there's enough in your bundle. The, fab the fabric is wide enough. I haven't shown you the width of fabric. Your fabric is wide enough. Look, you see, you just need a meter and a half to make every, every size every of size, C. Every size, yeah. So every option, every size you have for C, there's enough fabric, which is the one we're making. However, if you want to mean A, B, C, or D, I uh, know A, B, or D, no, A, A or B, <laughs> or D, yeah, sorry, A, B, or D, you need more fabric. Because look, this is C to there. So if you want to make the wraparound skirt longer, you need more fabric. Or if you need the full skirt, you need to buy more fabric. And um, we'll talk to you about that in a second. Basically, I'll tell you, we're selling the linen. We will be selling the linen separately, but not those three colours. We've got different colourways of linen. So if you want to make the others, we've got linen available to you in a second. But thank you for your question. Good question. Good question. Yes. Right, okay, so I've got my um, front piece on my fabric. It's already set out. I've already checked the grain line. So I'm about to get to the size that I want. Um, so again, because I want to keep all of the sizes on my, on my pattern, I haven't cut into the size that I need. But I'm going to use my tracing wheel and tracing paper. Now, we've got these. They come in different colours. So they just look like little A4 pieces of paper, but they're actually, um, it's almost like chalk paper. So you know when you have a receipt and you yes. write onto it, it transfers onto the fabric, which is just great. So you obviously need to find out what colour's best for you on your fabric. Yeah, now these come, you get all four of these in a packet for three ninety five. You get all four of those sheets in a packet for three pounds and ninety five. I think you get two of the white. Oh, do you? Yeah, you get extra white, and then you've got a yellow red. It says four. Oh, I say it says four colours. Oh, that's just because it is it's four, four colours. colours but yeah. there's, I think there's five sheets oh, altogether. Okay. Um, but it lasts forever. Oh, yes. It absolutely yeah. lasts forever. So you might think, oh, I need more than that. No, honestly, trust me, this is enough. Also, what, what I used to do when I was doing a lot of dressmaking was um, rather than get, because I used a tracing, tracing wheel for everything yep. I did, is I got a, a piece of very fine piece of wood, mm -hmm. um, like not balsa wood, but the next size up, yep. and I sellotaped mm -hmm. my sheets of tracing paper to it. Oh. So when I need to do it, rather than fiddling with bits of paper like this, I had the board that I was able to just like that, and you could do, and it was this big. Oh, wow. So you could do a whole skirt pattern in one go, because when you mark up mm -hmm. just a dart, you need to slide your, slide your piece yeah, of paper yeah, in. Yeah. Whereas I had a board with all of the paper stuck to it already, so oh, you were wow. able to do a whole, just okay. a little tip. Okay, that's a, a really tip good there. tip. Um, go for it. No. You sure? Right, okay, now, um, <laughs> sorry, 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 it's all, it's one of those days today. Um, I've just got to show you this very quickly because yeah. Hannah's never seen the tracing wheel before, so we want to see the tracing wheel. Now, this is a smooth. the one I have looks almost like a torture instrument. Yeah, like a little pizza cutter type thing, yeah. are so long, like that. if you ran over your finger, you'd pee your finger, this one's lovely. Uh, Four pounds and 25 pence, it's a smooth tracing wheel, this one. So it's just got a, it's not sharp, it's not sharp, you're not going to cut yourself on it, but it's just got, it's just going to make a line, whereas mine it makes leaves dots, dots because yeah. it goes through the fabric and through the paper. Anyway, so if, um, so it, it, again, if you struggle with your eyes, with the, 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 the sort of dotted ones, you might struggle to see it, whereas this one gives you a clear straight line, yes. and I'll show you what I mean. So yeah. I'm cutting out a size 12, so all I'm doing is placing that under where I'm going to be tracing over. So um, on the pattern, we've got size 8, size 10, and size 12. Yeah. Yep. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So it's this line that I'm needing. And I'm literally just going over that line. There you go. So I've done that one already. So now I just need to go down the rest of the skirt. Okay. Now, uh, this is where you and I are different again. And we're all different. Yep. Is when I uh, cut out a skirt. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. When I cut out a skirt, but this is why my tracing wheel's different to that one, yep. is I would put the board underneath here. Yep. I trace through the line mm. so it comes out on the bottom one. Yep. Then when, I've, when, I've, when they're all marked on, I take the pattern off, unpin the pattern, turn it over, and then just use the lines I've got on that side to trace through onto this side. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> no, 
anyway, but it's it, it's it's either way. So I, yeah, I'm working. I'm not, saying I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying. Well, that's no, all to but do. this is a great thing. There's no such thing as right and wrong. Yeah. There's there's more than one way to do things, and it's always Skin interesting. Yeah, exactly. And it's um it's always nice to hear different ways because. You know, there might be something that I can make things... You can always make things quicker for yourself, yes, can't exactly, you? Exactly. And for me, that's one of them. So, at the moment, I'm working with everything facing me rather than working underneath me so I can see what I'm doing. Um, so, once we've done that, then we can, we can cut out now. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut out and just peel back my tracing paper. So, it's just a nice way of keeping that... Yes. Your, your pattern's for longer, you know, because you're investing in them, aren't you? So the line you've marked here, is that a cutting out line? That's a cutting out line, because the seam allowances are included in the pattern. OK. Nice mess from Lisa. My nana took me to a fabric shop, let me pick any fabric I wanted and made me a wraparound skirt when I was nine Aww. with a secret pocket on the inside. How old are you now, Lisa? The pattern reminds me of so many happy memories of my nana and me twirling around like a prima donna. Aww. I don't know what you mean, Lisa. That's uh, Lisa in Greater Manchester. Oh, That's lovely so memories. Lovely. That's so lovely. So I'm interested about how you would transfer your darts using the tracing paper because I was going to do it a different way using a different pen. Okay, um, I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing a pattern manipulation uh, lesson. I don't, is it next week I'm doing it? I, it was supposed to be yesterday, but I wasn't in yesterday, and they planned it all and everything. Um, what I would do, I, I, I'll let you do yours, and then I'll show you mine. There's all you different sure? techniques. Yeah, no, you do your way, and then I'll show you mine another day. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just putting in my double um, triangles. What are you doing there then? So I'm just putting my double triangles in, right. which is. Um, just marking up where the side seams are on my skirt, so nothing, nothing new there. Um, so that how I, what I would do next to the dart, rather than tracing and then flipping and then tracing again, I'm going to go in with a tailor's tack. Oh, okay. okay. No, no, well, the first thing we learned was tailor's tacks. Okay. Um, because obviously we, at college, I did tailor, I did men's yeah. tailoring as well, mm -hmm. but for ladies' dresses and everything. But so I've not taken the paper, uh, the paper off yet. You can see that it's still attached. I've just moved it back just to expose that seam that we've just gone over with our tracing wheel. So tailor's tack wise, you're just going in and out of both layers of fabric, making sure that you're leaving a nice tail at the end. Going back in again and out to create a loop. Okay, and then I'm going to leave a tail. Now, a little tip again to keep your pattern lasting longer. I'm, I'm not sure if you can see on here, but I've actually put um, sellotape in the areas with the circles, and then I've cut into that sellotape, revealing the hole. So it, when I'm doing my tailor stack, it's not going to rip my paper, all right? So um, for speed, I'm just going to go in with two cuts into the top of my dart, but there are two holes there for you. Um, to create the top of yes. your dart line. And again, there's a couple of notches there that I need to make, along with the facing at the top and the bottom. And this will make more sense later. Okay. Is that, what's that hole for there? Um, that... That's just the paper. Oh, okay. I always wonder what those holes are for. You do find random big holes in the in your uh, oh, okay. tracing paper, but I'm not sure what, what that's uh, and for. Before we go any further, what's this? What are those arrows for? Oh, that's just telling that's you what the sizes. That's just telling you the is, different yeah. sizes, yeah. so you can see the because every line is different, as yes. you can see. So it's just making it very clear that 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 type of line is for your 12, yeah. or that type Sorry, of line yeah. is for your 10. Yeah. I just that's think it's important. Oh, excuse me, it's important it's when you, important. you start anything. Don't be like me and get back home. Just start chopping. Do you go? Yeah. Oh, actually, what's that? I'm presuming inside the, inside the pattern there must be a key to what all these lines and dots and everything Oh, mean. yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. OK, so that's our pattern done. So the one thing that I wanted to do here is um, is getting our... So what have we done now? Is it still attached? No. Oh, no, no. Um, is perfect darts. We want perfect darts, right. don't we? When, to, when to, lots of people ask about the fabric, this is a duck egg blue one. Mm -hmm. um, when you've done the dart, yep. I'm going to go over and introduce the other fabric as well. But we want we want as many tips as possible. As so as we'll possible. just do your dart first, then I'll be okay. leaving you for a minute. So again, similar to what you were saying about how you transfer your dart. So if you're if you're good at sewing in a straight line, then what I would do is go straight in with the iron. Um, you need to separate your fabric and cut your tail attack off first. So this is how you would do that. So you've got two points of reference on both yeah. sides of your fabric. You've got your reference points at the top here where you've got your two um, little notches in there. Fold it and press it. But if, you've not, if you're not great at sewing in a straight line, then before you do any of that, I would suggest going in with the, either one of these pens and a ruler. Right. And these are great. They come in different colours. I've already gone ahead and done a little uh, test on my little bit of fabric to see which one of these would be best for me. And I think the pink one's the best yeah. one. I can see that more clearly. Um, but basically, they're just really fine, like almost like graphite 
Taylor's chalk. And they're just great for precision marking. Uh, this is the pink one. The graphics are in the pink one at the moment. What it is, what it is, is um, we've chosen the pink one for the duck egg, but Jen's just showing you how they work on the dark blue as well. See the different colours there? It's mm. like a mechanical pencil which has six leads. You can buy, you get six refills as well, but you can buy the refills on the website. Come in different colours, yellow, pink, green, white. Also come in black as well, but the black one is sold out. Mm -hmm. But we sell the black refills on the website at the moment but they're just really really handy so i'm going to go in with my pink one so let's check that's the right color yeah that's okay the right for the moment if you look down there they'll only be pink but afterwards all the different colors will be available down there so what i'm doing is i'm using my uh, quilters ruler and i'm just joining up the dots basically so i've got the top of my dot there going down to my bottom which is my tailor's tack and i'm going to go in on the other side so when you go to your iron and press and then you go to your sewing machine, you've got a clear line for your dart, okay? So that's why I've gone in with the with this rather than my um, tracing Exactly. Wheel. Also, 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 it does say that it's the uh, like a beginner designer. Uh, uh, these patterns are designed for beginners. They are. So make sure you do all of this because... You're saying if you're used to sewing in straight line, but these are for beginners, so it's good to know all the techniques all the of how yeah, to do it and everything. Well. Yeah. But it, it sees you through to the more complicated patterns, yes, doesn't it, yeah. as well? So it's not just about, you know, this skirt. You know, getting getting across all of these uh, no notions in your dressmaker is so important. Oh, yes, totally. So totally. important. Okay, so I'm going to need the iron now, please, my darling. Oh, she called me my darling. I can't be in that bad books, No, though. you're not in my bad books anymore. Let you, let you off. It's touch and go, though. It was touch and go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, let's do a little dance. Um, with the... Is it on? It, it should be on. on, yeah. Okay. So, with your dart, I like to press it in place first before we even go to the machine. I just find it a lot easier rather than trying just to pin it. And then you've got this, especially with this beautiful... Um, you know, this, it's got bounce, bounce in it, yeah. hasn't it? So, you need, to, you need to stamp that out. You need to stamp that bounce out. So, I'm just taking my notches following down to my point which is my red stitch there that's my tailor's tack and pressing the iron and just going with a nice press so again i'm not moving the iron up and down i'm leaving it where it needs to be just for a few seconds is it hot was it not on i don't think we're on oh <gasps> must be on because the sewing machine's working just um maybe it's the plug <laughs> Oh, yes, the plug's out. There you go. I was going to say, that's a very cold... Uh... Oh, um, I don't think the table's in the right place. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yay! We're on! <laughs> right, while the iron warms up, I'm going to go... Yeah, go, set... go away, come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's the skirt we're making in the navy blue. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and Jennifer's making it, obviously, in the duck egg. The, the plug in the floor wasn't in, Jay. That's what it was. I tell you, we'll blame those people who were here yesterday afternoon. But Anyway, bundles first. Bundles first. This is, there's enough here to make bundle C, uh, uh, dress C, in any of the sizes. You need a metre and a half. So you get a meter and a half of the navy blue at linen. It's 100% linen. You get the interfacing, you get the thread for 22 pounds and 45 pence. Okay. Then there's the still of that one. We've got less than, oh, there's only eight of these left now. There's only eight of this colorway left. You get a meter and a half of the, it's a gorgeous uh, mushroom, uh, fabulous colour, very expensive, because anything will go with that, any colour. Well, anything with navy blue as well, really. But um, they're calling it grey, it's not grey, it's a, a jute colour. It's really, really lovely. £22.45 for all, all the uh, metre and a half fabric and the thread. <coughs> and then last, the one that Jennifer's uh, demonstrating on is the duck egg blue, which is the most popular so far. Nice, isn't it? So you get a metre and a half of the duck egg blue linen, it's 100% linen, you also get the interfacing and the thread for £22.45. Right, now, 
do you know what? I love working with linen. It's such a fabulous fabric to work with. I'll, I'll ask Jennifer, but this looks looks like it's working really, really well. Now, if you... Uh, uh, the bundles, right? The bundles are the, the, those colorways. I now have... Say you want to do on the other skirts and you need more fabric or you've got a dress pattern at home that you've always wanted to make out of linen or really lovely, um, gorgeous soft trousers, wide leg trousers. Or I tell you what, lovely, if you've got Jennifer's book, the fisherman's trousers Ooh. would look beautiful made out of this linen. So I'm not saying you have to make this skirt. You might go wrap around skirt, pff, but you might want li wide linen trousers. You might, those, the, your fisherman's I trousers would work. I reckon for the linen trousers, I think it's about two, two to three meters if you're gonna do the fisherman trousers. So. So, 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 I've got five other colours here to show you. Starting off with the traditional black. Now, let me just show you. I'll do Will Wuff this bit. Now, look at the width of the fabric. This is only half a metre, obviously, because you're buying half a metre. Look at the width. Look at the width there. Oops. It's fantastic. Now, I'll just put it on the table because it is the most exquisite linen. It's 5.95 half a metre. It is just Beautiful. Now, it, at five pounds and 95 pence for half a meter. Now, obviously, linen is going to crease because it wouldn't be linen if it didn't. So it's, it's going to do that. So there's no, I'm not hiding. I'm not going to hide the fact linen creases. You know that when you put a linen outfit on, you go out, you know, you're going to be creased by the time you get out of the car. But that's the joy of linen. Then when you're wearing it, the creases will drop out again. Now, it's enzyme washed linen. I just need to explain what enzyme washed linen is. Basically, it's, what, it's, it's a washing technique they put on fabrics to, first of all, uh, maintain the colour. Because you know if you wash linen quite a lot, and this is washable linen, you can wash this linen 30 degrees, 30 degrees. I would even, yes, I'd definitely say 30. I wouldn't put it on 40. At 30 degrees, you can machine wash. Uh, hand, is it machine wash or hand wash? No, you can machine wash it. You can machine wash it. I know one of the fabrics we've got today later is a, is a hand wash only, I think. Um, but it is beautiful, exquisite, exquisite linen, this. So the enzyme washing. Now, it can either be a, a natural or a, a, a lab-created enzyme. I, I don't know which this is, but it can work the two. And what they do is it's just a wash that they put through fabrics for, to, to maintain the colour, to maintain the, the, the body of the fabric and things like that. But also, can I just, if you are, um, it's biodegradable. So don't be thinking, oh, that's been put through some awful... It, the, the actual enzyme is biodegradable, so it doesn't hang around in the water. You know, sometimes when you have a dressing on something, you know that that is going to stay in the water and affect the fishes and everything like that. It's biodegradable at the enzyme. So don't worry, because I know if uh, Jennifer Mills was here, she'd be very, very concerned about things like that. It's completely biodegradable. Anyway, I'm, it's not, I'm not about that. I just want you to... No, it's the first time we've ever had it, and I just wanted you to know what it was. You might not have. You might be going, well, I know that, John. Be quiet. But some people might not. So that's the black. That's the black. Next. Okay, then we'll go on to... This is a beautiful colour, this one. They've called this turquoise. It's more of a... I'm going to just scrunch it up like that so you can see how gorgeous it is. It's like a jadey turquoise shade, this one. I've lo I lost you then, Hannah. So... So imagine if you made a, one of the fuller, fuller uh, skirts or a dress out of this. These, this, these are beautiful. And the width of the fabric. Uh, this is the pattern, look, right? You can see the different options. If you made one of the wider skirts or even the long skirt in that, would be lovely, wouldn't it? If you need to know any of the um, amounts of fabric you need for different sizes in different skirts, just let me know and I'll, I'll tell you about that. Right, so that's, it's called turquoise. It's not turquoise. It's more of a, would you call that a jade? More than a turquoise, yeah. I think yeah. So. It's lovely. It's a beautiful, rich colour. Then I've got ecru, which is um, like the creamier version of the mushroom one that we've already got. I'll just do it. Ooh. This is more of a traditional. This is what you imagine. This is what you imagine linen to look like, isn't it? That's a, what I call a linen colour. Trousers, trousers, holiday trousers, um, anything really. <clears throat> lovely soft jacket, unstructured jacket would look gorgeous in that. Five ninety-five for half a meter, but remember, it's very, very wide. The fabric that is beautiful. That's ecru. Then I'm moving on to now. Oh, I'm not sure what color they call this one. Beige. It's not beige. It's like a dark biscuit. It's lovely. It's really lovely, though. Again, look at the color. Now, I used to wear in the olden days. I used to wear an awful lot of Nicole Fari, and. Um, I had nickel for lots and lots of nickel fire linens, and this is the colour that I would always buy from nickel fire every season. Uh, it's it's called beige, 
but it's like a really rich biscuit colour, isn't it? I don't know what Hannah's going on. At five pounds and 95 pence for half a metre. And then the last colour, the last colour is so beautiful. Really, really gorgeous. Soft. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Ooh, it's, so, it's such good quality, this linen, I can't tell you. Look at that colour, isn't it beautiful? They're calling it pink. It's, do you know what? It's got a pink, uh, it's like shot. It's like two colours shot in it. I can see a pink and I can see a mauve in there together. It's lovely, isn't it? Really lovely. £5.95, that's the pink one. They'll all be listed below, obviously, if you want to make your mind up as we go on. But we need to get back to Jennifer. We need to get, she's got so many tips. This is what we're making. Right. So we were doing a dart. We were doing a dart. So I've gone ahead and pressed my dart. So before I go to the machine, I just want to check whether my pink lines are matching up either side. Yes. And how I do that super quick is just get a pin, pop it into the, um, the pink line at the top, flip it over, and are we there? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay, so I know that the dart is in the correct place. Okay, yes. so now we're ready to go to the machine. Um, so um, I do my darts with a little tick. What do you mean? I shall show you. Okay, so I'm going in normally at the very top of the dart, so that's the widest part of the dart. I'm going to sew down my pink line. So again, there's no excuses now. You've done a nice line with your chalk, so you know exactly what you're doing. And I'm working my way down to my red dot, which is just there. Okay. So once I get to the dot, I'm stopping with the needle in the fabric. And then what I then do is do a reverse and go up the fold of the fabric, hence the tick. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, hold on. <gasps> I wanted to use that. Okay, <laughs> so um, there we have our dart. Okay, so that little tick is almost, you know, sometimes people sew off and then knot it physically and then run the thread through the fold of the fabric. I've done a tick instead. So it's okay. almost like a reverse stitch, but going up the fold rather than going up the original stitch line. Okay, can you see that there? So it's gone up the fold. So it's actually, the end of it is inside the dart. When you press inside that dart, dart out, yeah. it'll be inside, inside the dart. Inside, okay. So you've, um, you've got a nice <clears throat> nice dart there now, at, and it's going to finish at the same point as the other one, obviously, because we've done not only our tailor's tap, we've also done our chalk line. Yes. Um, and then the last thing we need to do now is press our dart out towards the, um, the side seam. And I know this is the side seam, one, because I've got my little notches in here, but also because of the curved edge that's on the end of that um, skirt. So I'm just going to fold past. But you're not ironing, you're not... No, I'm not ironing. And the main thing is that you get the dart as well, so I'm doing this left-handed. Let's yes. move this around. Why make it all complicated? I know, I do that. I go there and start trying to do it with my left, left hand. Left hand, it's weird, isn't it? OK. So what are you doing now? You're, trying, you're so making just, sure there's no... I'm just no... pressing out that there's no bumps or, or any nicks in it. Because of the effort that we've done with the dart anyway, with the chalk and the tailor's chat, then we should absolutely be fine. Yes. Yeah. There's nothing have... worse is than seeing a dart that's then got a... Like a little... Like a bobble in bobble it. Bobble in it. Or at the end, where the dart comes and it goes kind of like that. Like yeah. a, I don't know <laughs> yeah. what you call that. Like a dimple at a the dimple. end of it. A dimple. Want, we don't want a dimple. No. OK, so we've done our front. Um, so the next thing I need to do... Sorry, I've, I've moved away from here, but I didn't need to. OK, um, is our facing for our skirt. OK, so we have two points of reference. Remember those two little yeah. notches at the side of our skirt. Now, again, I'm going to go in with my ruler and my pink... Let's just check that's the colour. Yeah, pink You know pen. it's the right colour because it's at the end there. <gasps> I didn't notice so that. So, look, if you bought all of those, you'd know that that's your green, that's your yellow, that's your white, and that's uh, your pink. See these little tips that you forget? There you go. See? Nice. There you nice go. Touch. The thing is, because they're all pink, you're like, oh... Yes, it no, was, which it is which, confusing. yeah. And the others will come up under there later on. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to use my quilter's ruler again to go in. Now I can see from the notch that it's a 1.5 folding line, so I'm going in with that first. Oh, Lisa says, I'm still, I'm 49 now and I'm still swirling thanks to my nana. Aww. I love sewing my own clothes. Isn't it lovely that they're sewing memories as yes. well? It's beautiful. 
Okay, so I've got two points of reference here. I've got a um, half inch, and the first line is one and a half inches, okay? Yeah. And this is just the guide for our pressing. So um, this is going to be creating our facing. So I do the half inch first, just to save your fingers. I have already done this on the other one. So I know where I'm going because I can see the line in front of me. I'm using my nail almost to create the, the fold. I'm just going across. Watch your fingers, guys. It plays, doesn't it? It really behaves itself, this linen. It's just gorgeous. It's a lovely one to work with, isn't it? Yeah. Really beautiful one to work with. I think when you get a linen that is 100% linen, mm -hmm. it works with you because it irons beautifully, it cut, sews beautifully, it cuts beautifully. Do you know what I mean? Well, this is going to sound silly, but it almost, it almost feels like you're sewing paper because it's just... It doesn't misbehave under yeah, the needle. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just does. That's where I want you to be. Like, with that pressing now, it's exactly where I want it to be. I'm not having to go over it again, and I don't need to pin it. Yes. Okay, so even though we've done this facing, I'm not going to do any sewing oh, okay. yet. It's just in, in advance, because obviously we need to get to our waist, um, waistline. Our, um, I've lost all my words what? today. What's it called? Tie. The waist no. tie. No? Waistband. 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 Sorry. Waistband. Right, okay. So I've got um, my pieces now. So I've already got my back piece already gone ahead and cut out for you. I've already gone ahead and done the darts as well. So we need to put our two pieces together. So obviously it's right sides together. Now it is a little bit difficult with this material, but I know that it's the right side because I can see that I can't see my dart and I can't see the dart on this but side. But if you've got if you've got an issue with a fabric like this, use your pink pencil from the beginning and just put a cross on the wrong side somewhere on the pattern, yeah, yeah. either in the seam allowance, somewhere like that, so you know it's never going to be seen. But you know you're looking for your pink cross. You look for pink cross. Uh, and, and you know that's the wrong this, side. Because uh, it's chalk, it will come out anyway, yeah. okay? Also, we've got really, really, really bright lights in here. If you're just working in a normal workroom, sometimes you kind of look at it and think, oh, is it, is it not? But it. So it's just best to be safe than sorry, it? Is, isn't it is, absolutely. Okay, so it's a 1.5 seam allowance, so it's just a straight line, so I'm just going to do that first for you. So you're saying the side seam? The though? side seam. Yeah. I'm only going to do the one side, right? because um, I want to get on with the waistband, but more importantly, I really want to show you how to finish off your hem, okay, because it's got a really nifty little trick, and I want to, to make, sure 20 get, minutes, make sure we get to that point. Yeah. So if I uh, just do the one seam for us now, speed up my machine. This is lovely, isn't it, this machine? Mm. It's very quiet as well. I don't get to play with this one very often. No, you don't. You always, you always pick I, one of the Yeah, I like the other one. I, I don't know why. I think it's because it's the one closest to my one at home, and it's just a really nice machine to use. I made my um, block, you know, we'd, we've all done. Oh, they're all in now, by the way. All of our blocks Ooh, are in now. When do we get to see I them all? I don't know when we get to see it. Oh, Hannah. Hannah not done yes. it? And she has made it, she just left it at home. The llama's leg fell off, apparently. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, uh, I used that machine to make mine, and you suddenly realise, you know, yeah. oh, this is an amazing machine. It is a lovely <laughs> anyway. machine. Lovely, lovely, lovely machine. Okay, so there's our side seam done. Okay, so now it's about our waistband. So there's two things that you need for the waistband. So you've got the waistband that is attached to your um, physical skirt, and yes. then you've got the tie part, which wraps around the body and ties up at the front. So there's actually two sections to right. your waistband. Oh, okay. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done the one side already. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this off the stand so we can see it. Show it on the still while I take that. So you see you've got the tie around there, but I'll take this one off so you can actually see the finished. Right. Okay, so, sorry Jennifer, you carry, no, you carry okay. on with your... Um, so you've got two sections. So I've gone ahead and you can see that I've interfaced my um, waistband. Okay? Yeah. Um, and it's double, it's, it's not half, it's the whole thing. Yeah. So it's got a really nice structure to that waistband. I've folded it in half and already gone ahead and pressed that. Okay? And then you've noticed I've also tucked in my seam allowance as well. So I've gone ahead and done this all ahead of time. Right. Because it makes it so much easier later on rather than having to fight with the skirt and the waistband so yeah. if, if you've got the opportunity to do that straight away okay and then you're ready to get going do you want it to yeah no i was just showing you here this this is the this is the i don't know how much you'll see on on the dark line. oh there you go so this is the waistband here which has got the interfacing in it mm -hmm. and then this is the bit that ties around the body so you can see there's a, a, a very very neat 
little junction there. Yeah, so that's, that's what I want to make sure I show you today and then also show you the hem at the bottom. Okay, so I'm only going to do parts of the skirt. Okay, so I'm just going to focus on the front panel first of all. Now, you remember that we made some notches. So we've got two notches here on our skirt. There's our notch, there's our facing, and then we're going into our side seam as well. Okay, now on our waistband, we've got the same notches. Uh, let's just cut those in so you can see them a bit clearer. There you go. So there's two notches on our waistband as well. Just I've just cut them in a little bit deeper so you can see what they are. Okay. So it's those notches that are mating up with these notches on here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So it's that side. Okay, so this is where you want to make sure that everything is matching up. So there's the first notch, and there's the second notch. Okay, again, just make sure that your uh, waist, um, no waistband, your dart is facing towards your side seam. Okay, so I've made sure it's pressed that way, but make sure that you do pin it down. Yeah. Because sometimes into the machine it might want to flip the other way. And then our final one here, you can see I've got another notch here, which I've made in blue, and that's my side seam. So again, just make sure that that's pressed open. So you might want to finish your seams, so either use your pinking shears or a zigzag on your machine or an overlocker, but make sure you finish those seams beforehand. Make sure you match that up. And basically, you just keep going around the waistband in that. There's all different yes. points of reference. So, so those points of reference are really good, because if one of them doesn't match, you know there's something not quite right. Yes, exactly. So you don't get to the finished... You don't think, oh, I've done my waistband, don't think. You get to the oh, this isn't right. You've this got your mine. notches, so you know... No, exactly. There's points of reference for everything. Yeah. And there is a certain point in, in the um, garment as well. So you can see here, there's just... A, this, in comparison with, with my waistband, this part is a little bit saggy. Yes. And there is a slight bit of ease in that and on the pattern if I just bring that in very very quickly there we go it does warn you about that here what does it say it says ease uh, warning no no warning just ease. okay so there's our side seam there's our dart and there's our two notches yeah and I said that part between the dart and the side seam that was a little bit baggy. And I know it's a little bit baggy because, look, it says easy. Yeah. Okay, so if, you fit, if you're struggling in that section, the pattern has already warned you that there's a little of easing in that area. Before you take it away, why is that bit like that? This section here? Yes. It's just to make sure that I'm keeping the integrity of the waistline. That's all. So, so you, it's a different waistline for each for size. For each one. So yeah. this one here is for size 8. That one there is for size 10, 12, 14 and 16. Okay, okay so it's just to keep that intact. Because if I went straight ahead and cut that bold line, I've lost part of my skirt detail. Exactly. So that's why that's a little bit different in that corner. Okay, that's brilliant. the only difference. Right, okay. So now we've done that, I'm just going to sew my waistband down and then we can focus on getting our um, section. Right, while you're saying that, I've got to tell you that the grey bundle is almost... I'll show you still, I'm not going to go... Oh! There's only four left. There's only four of those left now. So you get the... Uh, the uh, they're calling it grey. It's that gorgeous kind of mushroom jute kind of colour. Uh, and the thread and the interfacing. Uh, they're all popular, but that one especially, the corner grey, one and a half metres of fabric, the interfacing and the thread. OK, now, just as I said that, three people in the basket. So if they check out, there's one left. If they check out, there's only one left, which is, means we could be heading for disappointment if people don't check out quickly. Sorry. No, it's good. I'm glad you mentioned that. Don't want people to be disappointed. OK, so I'm just going to do a quick back stitch at the end. That's it. OK, so there we have our part of our waistband attached to our skirt, OK? Right. So now it's about attaching our ties, OK? So the, all you need to do with your tie is basically it's a strip of fabric. It's folded with the right sides together. You're sewing down the length and then down one corner. And then I've just turned it out and pressed it ahead okay. of time, OK? So it's almost like a bag, bag strap. There's no difference to it. Um, and it's all nice and enclosed seams, OK? And this is why you've, you've put in the facing earlier, that's why you folded it in and in. Yep. Because where you're putting it on now, that's your finished edge of yeah, the top. Yeah, definitely. There, so if I, if I fold that back for you so you can see. So here's our facing. I've not done anything with that yet, and there's a reason for that, because I'm going to be doing something at the end later. But right. it's important that I pressed it in place because I've attached it to the waistband there. Right. Um, you need to press your um, 
seam allowances here into the waistband. So I'm going to go and do that in a second. But I just want to show you where yeah. I'm placing the um, the uh, strap first, our little wrap around. Okay. So um, what I did um, to give it a nice clean look, the side that has been sewn, which is that side compared to that side, I like to keep that facing down. And it's basically going to sit in the one side of your uh, waistband, so where it's folded over. So you see why I've pressed it? Because I can butt that up straight away so I know it's going to fit snugly. And then the last section there is that that, that bit's folded back. Yeah. Okay, and the reason being is so I can just sew straight across that section there. So I've got all of my layers now. I'm sewing straight across that section there, making sure I stay in line with my skirt facing. Right. Okay, that's the important bit because you want to keep that nice clean finish, yes, all right? Of so I'm just going to go ahead and do a straight stitch over that and then uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Okay. Oh, sorry. There was some penny. Was there a lovely message from Penny, did you say? Hello, Jennifer, she says, and John. Hello. Just love your dressmaking shows, Jennifer. Thank They've inspired you. me to start dressmaking again. <gasps> Yay! That oh, was I Penny. Want, I want pictures. I want pictures. Send me pictures, Penny. Okay, so um, we've gone ahead and done that now. So it's just a straight stitch following down and following that line uh, with our facing. So obviously there's a lot of bulk in there, so yeah. you need to make sure you cut that back. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So if you can, try and only cut one section first. And then cut the other one a different length. Oh, so you're graduating it. So it's grading, that's grading. correct. There you go. So it's a graded seam allowance, okay? Yeah. Um, so I've decided to keep the, the tie bit a little bit longer, again, because you've got a little bit more to hold on to if you're going to be tying it around yes, your waist. Of course. So make that the longer one and make the seam, the waistband bit the shorter one. And then all you need to do, this is so cute, is just pop it out. Oh, and that's that neat junction that I showed and there's earlier. That neat junction. Move that out of the way. Nice. There you go. So that's the neat junction on your waistband. So you can see that it's the same width as your waistband as it is for the tie. Nice clean finish. And then obviously what you would then do with there is you would hands, I like to prefer to hand stitch that down. Yes. To do that with either a slip stitch or a ladder stitch. Okay. So that repeats itself on the other side. So, so you hand stitch the whole of the waistband. So down. I hand stitch the waistband. I just think it, it's a nicer professional thing. Oh, no, no, I do that. It means you haven't got a line of stitching yes. running through there. Unless you're a whiz at stitching the ditch. Um, I, I just prefer, it's that. my quiet time to do a bit of hand stitching in the waistband. So I've hand stitched my waistband down. So the navy bundle that this is made out of is going across the bottom there and the duck egg is at the top there. The duck egg's beautiful. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Really right, lovely. How many minutes have I got left with Jennifer? Five minutes with Jennifer, right? Five minutes with me. Right, okay, so we've got a little bit more to do on our skirt so again what i'm doing on this side is the same on the other side so that's why i'm only doing one side of the skirt yeah so we've gone ahead and already pressed down our facing for um the front so now it's about creating the second um the hem on the yes. bottom so again uh without i've just put the ruler away haven't i That's yes lovely. okay so again i'm going back in with my pen and as long as you followed your um I keep doing it on my left hand you side can doing everything i'm going all was it caggy handed is the word okay so it's a 1.5 um hem, uh, allowance. hem allowance and that's inches sorry not centimeters so i'm just making a quick mark with my ruler so you again you'd carry on all the way around the skirt is it straight then not curved uh, it is actually straight uh, straight hem um, and again if you want to go in with the um half, half an inch, inch so you're doing exactly the same at the hem that you've done there. You've Absolutely. got the half inch turning and the, the inch turning. That's as well. right. Yeah. Okay. So that that bit done. Okay. So now, quickly. yeah. Can you see that on there? Can you see? There you go. So that's your half inch. You're going to turn half in, inch. and then that's your finished length there. So it's exactly the same as we did on the front face thing, but it's for our, our hem at the bottom. So this is the little uh, the trick. So here, we're going to fold back our facing so it, even though we've pressed it that way even though we've pressed it that way yeah you're going to fold it back on itself right okay and then i would pop a pin in it in the meantime now if you wanted to you go back in with your um with pink your ruler pencil. pink pencil i'm just going to do it by eye very oh, quickly yeah, yeah. okay so now what i'm going to do is just do a quick line of stitching just over that uh, facing okay so i'm going to do that super quick And you don't need to do the whole thing. Um, you need to make sure you do your facing, but you don't need to go into the skirt too yes. much. Okay. 
Okay. So again. You automatically went to cut the thread then, didn't you? Because yeah, you haven't I, got a cutter no, on your machine. I haven't machine. got a cutter on my machine. <laughs> I'm not as posh as that. Okay, so again, we've got this little um, stitch here. Now, similar to our waistband, we're going to cut into this section here. Yeah. I'm going to cut a little bit here, and then I'm going to go straight up. Because I don't want to see when I turn it out. So here it gives you a really nice, sharp, clean finish on the edge of your skirt. See that? Mm-hmm. So if I bring the skirt in. Oh. This is the edge of our skirt here. It just gives you a really clean. So it's the same almost as the same as we've as, done as, on the waistband. At the junction, was it the junk? Where, where did we do that before? On the waistband. On where the we waistband. Turned it through. Yes, exactly. But it just gives you a really nice clean finish on the edges of your skirt. Okay. And then, I don't know if you'll be able to see this side. So this is my hem, this is the facing of the hem, and then it's a repeat on the other side with um, the bottom hem, okay? But that's what the junction looks like on the inside. So have you machined your hem or hand whipped so your I'm hem? Gonna, it's machine stitched. On the instructions, it's all machine stitched. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right, then. Have we got time? Yeah, yeah, you've got a minute with you now, Jennifer. Oh, okay, well, I'll just do that edge bit then. We'll just do that edge bit. Okay, so we know where we're going with that section because we've sewn it in. Just going to get my hot iron. So you're turning up the, the whole inch and a half. Inch and a half. Inch and a half, inch and a half to start with on this one where you did it the other way around earlier. Yeah. But then, and then you're going to turn your half inch in. And then I'm going to turn my half inch in after. Because the main thing on this one, I really want to make sure that I'm getting that nice, clean Yes, no, junction. definitely. And that gives it such a professional finish, doesn't it, to it? Well, there's no raw edges at all, no. is there? I mean, if you wanted... Um, I mean, the thread's been so beautifully matched. Once you've stitched, you can't really see it anyway. But, you I mean, you could, you could go out there. You could go a contrasting thread if you really wanted to add some detail. So, basically, what you would be doing with your stitches, you would be edge stitching all the way down yeah. here... In the pattern, it goes all the way down and then it goes across. But oh, okay. I, I decided to go down and, and straight pivot, and yeah. pivot and go straight across. Now, if you love hand sewing, you're very, very neat at hand sewing. Yeah. You could do the same as the waistband. You could hand stitch hand that. Hand stitch all that down. The only thing I say about that is if you're going to be throwing it in the washing machine, the machine, there's that tendency that the, the, the hand stitching could get caught, whereas the machine stitch, you know it's going Absolutely, to be fine. Absolutely, yeah, definitely. So I'm just going to do a quick yeah. I'm just going to do that stitch very quickly and then you can see the finish. Then I have to kick you out then. Then your time's up. Oh, okay. As long as you're made up now, that's the main thing. Oh, uh, the quilt on the back wall is gorgeous. Is there a kit for it? Derek, you wait. Uh, <laughs> oh, in fact, you only have to wait 10 minutes. You only have to wait 10 minutes, Derek. It's called um, Corporal Stripes, I think, that one, isn't it? Yes, John, it is. Isn't it, Jay? Okay. So there we go. So we've, I've stitched that down now. Either side, so it just gives you a really nice clean finish on the front. Yeah, that's brilliant. Look. Can you see the stitches? There you go. So that's the finish on the front and that's the back. So all I would do here is just quickly just hand stitch that section. Just do you know what's lovely as well? Because it's a wrap around. Mm. There's a likelihood you're going to see that as well, isn't there? Yeah. And if you botched a hem, like you can so easy do on other skirts, you never ever see it. Never Whereas see this, it. if you're sacheting along, yeah, yeah. I've got to go, Jennifer. Thank you so much. She doesn't hate me really. No, I don't. I don't. Uh, right. Uh, I, she's back in an hour. She's back in an hour with a, a really complicated tote bag. <laughs> right. Patterns. Comes in two size uh, ways. I keep saying size ways. That's not the right word, is it? Size choices. The one 16 to 24 is that one that's on the top there. And then it's exactly the same pattern. You just need to choose the size. Just take a note of the uh, item code number there. And then the uh, 8 to 16 is running across the bottom of your screen. That's uh, 8 to 16, and then the one in the big graphics is 16 to 24. Uh, now, to make the skirt that Jennifer's done, which is option C, uh, there's enough fabric in these bundles to make option C. So the gray, this one first. They, they call this gray. They're calling this gray. It's like a dove... Um, really, really lovely dove mushroom colour. Very, very limited, as in... Well, we said one, didn't we? Yeah, 
if, if, if the ladies who've got this in their basket check out now, there's one left. So there's three, but there's two people got it in their basket. So as those two people check out, then um, there'll be one left. But obviously other people can check out their baskets and take it. So just be careful, just be careful. So that's the gray one there. Uh, then, uh, blue? Navy, navy blue, navy blue. So you get a meter and a half of the linen. It's 100% linen, remember? You get the thread and you get the uh, interfacing. 22 pounds and 45 pence for a meter and a half of linen. That's an amazing price, I have to say. Beautiful, isn't it, right? And then the other bundle we've got is the duck egg blue, the one that Jennifer's been making. Uh, that's lovely, isn't it? Duck egg blue linen with the thread and with the interface. Remember, a meter and a half of the fabric, and it's very wide. I'll show you the width of the fabric in a minute. I, in fact, I'll do, I'll do it now, I'll do it now. Because the fabric is incredibly wide, look. Oh, Diane. Uh, oh, I haven't got my glasses on this side. <laughs> Is it Diane or Diana? Diana. She does it every time, Diana. Um, I'll look for you now um, while you look at these colours. Uh, Diana, do you know what? I'll do it after. The, do you mind? If, stay with us, Diana. I'll look at it during the break and I'll tell you which one. Which, uh, you tell me. I'll tell you during the break. Thank you, Jay. Uh, right. So these colourways are available. Things have all been really, really popular. So it's the black to start with. That's that one, 5 95 for half a metre. Then we've got the turquoise jade. Very, very popular, this one. Then we've got ecru. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's the turquoise in the main graphic. Is the ecru coming in the bottom graphic then? Okay. Those are the two most popular. Where's the graphic sticker? There you go, there you go, five pounds and 95 pence. Very quickly, because I'm gonna run out of time. Uh, then we've got this one here, which is called beige, which is not beige. It's a gorgeous biscuit, rich biscuit color. That, do you know what? That's my nickel fari color. That's, I'm, I'm well surprised that uh, that's popular. Okay, and then last one, they're calling it pink, but it's that fabulous lilac colour. Very, very popular. Graphics coming in. There you go. Don't go anywhere. It's me coming up in, in three minutes' time, just less than three minutes' time, with all the gorgeous quilts and uh, well, just kits galore. Go nowhere. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that, you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter. Freeview Channel 78.
There's a new big shot in town, and on Friday the 4th of August we want you to join us for the big unveiling. The Sizzix Big Shot Plus Die Cutting Machine will open up a whole world of possibilities for you. It cuts through multiple layers of fabric in one pass, making it the perfect quilter's companion. It's also ideal for soft toy making, adding embellishments to your dressmaking projects and many other crafts with its ability to custom cut and emboss a range of materials. Sizzix Wiz Angie Southie will show us some of the incredible results you can achieve with this versatile tool. So, tune in on Friday the 4th of August at 9am and 11am for our die cutting masterclass only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Now, Diana, I'm a bit confused. Diana asked, if I want to make an A-line skirt out of the linen, how much fabric would I need? Uh, now, I'm presuming you don't mean an A-line off the pattern, you just mean an A-line skirt. Um, it depends what size you are, but basically, because it was so wide, I would say you just need the length of the skirt. Because, because what you do is you cut the two patterns out one that way that way and one that way, wouldn't you? And then, Maybe, maybe the length of the skirt plus a quarter. Uh, if you send me your details, um, Diana, about how, what size you are, I'll have a word, word it and then I'll get, I'll get back to you about that one. Uh, obviously, I'll, I'll, I'll sit with the fabric after the show and try and work out how much you need. Right, would you like to make a quilt? Well, what we've done this hour is we have taken some of our favorite quilts and we've uh, bundled them for you so you can make each of these quilts. This is my first one. Corporal stripes, which you've been seeing on my, uh, behind, my uh, behind my back, behind me all morning. So what we've done is we've created a bundle to, for you to make, for you to make that quilt. For you to make that quilt. Now the pattern is in this book here, Quick and Easy Quilts. It comes in your bundle, it comes in your bundle. Uh, what I'll do is, I'll show you to in a second, right? Corporal stripes, including the booklet, seven and a half meters, wadding and thread. I haven't got any wadding here at the moment, but I'll get that out for you in a second. Go to the kit. Where's the wadding? Okay, right, we've just got to double check something with you now. 68 pounds and 45 pence. I'll take you through it, I'll take you through it. Right, there's a bit of confusion now about, because well, I haven't got any wadding here, but it says wadding there. Okay, it hasn't got wadding in, hasn't got wadding in. So you can't make the whole quilt, you just get that. But look, here's the booklet, here's the booklet, here's the booklet. Um, it not only does it have corporal stripes in, it has stunning stars. It's Optica. Well, actually, do you know what, I'll just run through, oh no, no, I'll keep going, I'll keep going. No, I'll run through it quickly, right? So I'm trying to, I'm dithering, 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 aren't I? Um, get the quick and easy quilt booklet, and then you get seven and a half meters of fabric. Now let me take you through what fabrics you get and how much you get of each one. So, mauve mist, meter and a half. Lilac spot on, a meter and a half. Deep purple, you get three meters. And violet, you get a meter and a half. And you get your thread. You get to, and your booklet. Right, um, have a look at the quilt again, because I'm gonna go and wander over so I can show you the fabrics properly in front of the quilt itself. Okay, so I won't walk in front of it. They tell me not to walk in front of it. So, that is the most gorgeous. Isn't it just lovely? Okay, um, I'll go through the booklet properly with you, but look at all this fabric you get here. You've done, we've bundled all the fabric you need for the front, I'm saying, for the front. There we go, look. I mean, the thing is, if you didn't want to make a corporal stripes, you've got seven and a half meters of fabric to play with here. Seven and a half meters and the thread and this lovely booklet here. So now I'll go through the booklet properly with you. Uh, so for £68.45, pence, you only get seven and a half metres of fabric, a reel of thread, you also get this lovely 
booklet. So, in the booklet, I've, I didn't even get to the corporal stripes earlier, did I? Stunning stars. You see, you could use, or you could use this booklet to make any of these and this fabric. Optica. Uh, what else have we got here? Quick step. Nice, isn't it? I'll go through these uh, in detail. Summer dreams rail fence. It, it looks much nicer than it sounds, doesn't it, that one? There you go, corporal stripes. Oh, I much like, much prefer in the purple, don't you? Oh, I've lost Hannah completely again. Oh, Hannah prefers the brown one. Walk around the block. Uh, what else have we got here? Is, what's that one? Have I missed that one out? Oh, no, they go woven indigo, that one's called. That's nice, I like that. That's the one they used on the front cover. Um, nine patch twirl. So you're getting all of these. You're getting this booklet with all these uh, chocolate-covered cherries. I remember saying when I saw this the first time, they're the funniest cherries I've ever seen in my life. Uh, then you've got Go Team. That's a very simple one, isn't it, that one there? And then that's nice. I like this one. I like this one as well. This one's lovely and fresh, isn't it, this one? Uh, that's called Seven Patch. Summer Shores. I've lost you again upstairs. All right, hang on. I'm just going to... You keep looking at that. You keep looking at that. I'm just going to have to swap this because I keep... There you go. That's much better. Thank you. I, I'm echoing a little bit, but I can hear them now. That's good. You just turn, can you just turn your um, speaker down a little bit? Because thank you very much. Right. Sorry about that, everyone. £68.45. Shall we have a look at the quilt? Shall we have a look at the quilt? What I love is what they've done is they've created that, obviously, the corporal stripes in the middle there. Then you've got the, the border, the border and the border. Oh, you've got enough fabric to do all of this, all of this, and then the piping around the edge. Can you see the edge there? I'll just hold this up for you. But then, obviously, you can quilt it as and as and um, when you wish or what you wish because there's the border, right? But they've done this really lovely, swirly. Because it's, it's a contrast to the design, isn't it? Because I would automatically think you'd do straight... They've done straight lines as well, but I just think they, it's kind of like... It's a... Ox gives it a completely different look, doesn't it? Also, I mean, they, they, you could lay these out differently, the colours. You could do this, because obviously this one's got the purple as the diamond in the middle. You could put the colours whichever way you want them around, couldn't you? But for £68.45, and pence, so you get the th enough to make that quilt, the booklet, and the thread for £68.45. And pence. Um, I do apologise. The next one does have wadding with it. It's this one doesn't, so I do apologise about that because that's a mistake on our behalf and I do apologise that it doesn't say uh, that the wadding is not included in the Corporal Stripes one. It's lovely, isn't it? I... Yeah, I could hear voices, that was all. Okay. Oh, it's Hayley in. Okay. Right, 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 so that's Corporal Stripes. Should we go and see the next one? Right, here we go. Are you ready? Now this one, which you will be seeing any second as soon as Jay has hung it up, uh, this one is called Improv House Quilt. Now you'll have seen this made. No, I was not. Joe, was it Joe Avery? Is that who did it? Joe Avery. Joe Avery, yeah, I wasn't here today. It was the same day they did the Cathedral Windows one and everything. Really, really gorgeous, gorgeous quilt. Um, in fact, this is it. Let me show you the instructions, because in this one, you get the instructions. Oh, it's £50.95, this one. You get the instructions. You don't get the chair, obviously, on that one. That's just the styling of the picture. So now with this one, you get these instructions. Oh, look, there's a close-up of the block. There's a close-up of the block. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. So the, the, the house on the quilt, apparently slightly different. Oh, 
Okay, you have enough in the bundle to make a cushion front. Right. I don't understand what the difference is, but obviously. Oh, I see, they've got upstairs windows. They've got upstairs windows and these haven't got the upstairs windows. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So you get enough to make that quilt and one of these with the upstairs windows. There you go, the upstairs, there's the one with the upstairs. So you can make a cushion out of that one and then you can uh, make enough to make the quilt there. So would you like to see the quilt? Here you go. Let's pull. Da -da! Oh, there you go. So there's nine, actually, now let's just work this out. Is there enough to make a nine house quilt or is there enough to make a one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, 25 house quilt? Okay, okay, it's enough to make that quilt there that you're seeing there. All right, for 50 pounds and 95 pence. I told you it was one of those days, didn't I? You should have seen us prepping beforehand. It was a nightmare. At 50 pounds and 95 pence. Enough to make that uh, quilt there, which is gorgeous, isn't it? So what you get in that quilt is you get the dashwood fat quarter. You get the dashwood uh, fat quarter plus the coral of which is two meters. You get spearmint, half a meter. Mercury, one meter. One meter, half a meter, two meters. I haven't finished, oh, I haven't finished yet. Because you also get the wadding and you also get the thread for 50 pounds and 95 pence. Right, I need to get my, there we go. Right, should we go over? Stay on that, stay on that, because I'll, I'll walk over. Okay, there you go. I'll just move the drawing pins off the desk. There we go. Sorry about this. It is, it's, a, it's a, we got, a, a, well, I won't even go into it. I won't even go into it. I won't even go into it. But we're doing our best. We're doing our best. So you get the um, Dashwood uh, Fat Quarter. This, when Joe Avery did this on that Saturday when I wasn't here, it was very, very, very popular. I'm not surprised it's gorgeous, isn't it? So you get the fat quarters, fat quarter bundle. You get the instructions. Now, obviously, that's a picture with 25 squares on it there. You've got enough fabric to make the one that's hanging behind me with nine houses on it, plus, oh, plus the one upstairs with the upstairs as well. I couldn't see, I couldn't see the difference. So you can make a cushion out of that. Uh, the, uh, we'll get the date so you can go to look at it. Because that, well, that's the other thing, yeah. We'll get the date off YouTube so you can see how Joe made it and everything. Uh, so then you also get the warm white wadding in there as well. So you get that, 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 that. And then you get this really, really lovely uh, contrast of colour. So you get the coral, which obviously, oh, that must be the backing, is it? Let me have a look. Yep, there's the coral backing, right? You get the green for the binding, and you get the um, mercury, did we say this was, for the uh, sashes and the, the framing of this. And then you make the houses out of the dashwood uh, fat quarter. Lovely, isn't it? Now look at each of those houses. They're lovely, aren't they? Now, she's all got the, she, oh, now look, she's got, um, oh no, all the hills are going the same way. I thought suddenly one was going the wrong way then. But isn't it lovely? Now, look, what I've just noticed here as well. On it, each of the hills are slightly different. You see what I mean? Like, that one's got a hill that starts from the point. That one's got a hill that starts out. That's got a... They're all, they're all, oh, it's improv style, so they're all slightly different. Oh, yeah, because that chimney's in a different place, that chimney. So I wasn't in on this day, you see, so I didn't get to see this one. Oh, that's fascinating, isn't it? And they've got different roofs. East, that one's got a different roof to that one. That is lovely. So you keep, if you want to go and look how it's made, 15th of July, it'll be on the YouTube. All you do is you go to YouTube, search sewing quarter, 
and then uh, put the 15th of July in and it'll tell you. Now let's look at, the instructions are thorough as well, aren't they? Okay, so um, all the, it's got everything you need in here. Oh yeah, cutting, I'll show you, I'll show you under here. I'll show you under here, look. So you've got, it's called the Improv Houses Small Quilt. It's 40 by 40. Yeah, that's that one, 40 by 40. Um, and then literally everything that you need to cut out in the different sizes, how to assemble it, how to finish it, uh, little top tips here. And then this is the mini quilt. That, so this side here is all to do with that quilt behind me. Then the whole of this page here is to make this one, which is a 14 inch square finished block to make the house with the upstairs windows. It's lovely, isn't it? Really, really lovely. Okay, uh, so you say there's the instructions. There's the instructions. So then, let's just open this. So you obviously can make whatever you want out of each of the dashwoods. Uh, each of the, um, all you need are each of these fat quarters. Now you can obviously put them in the order that you wish to put them in making the roofs and the walls and the doors out of whatever you want. But don't they go beautifully with that coral? And the coral is the backing. The coral is for the backing, remember? And then, uh, and then obviously, obviously you've got to back yours with this one. This is for the sashing and the, and the frame around it. And then this, literally, is just for the binding around the edge. It's beautiful, isn't it? This is the, uh, the backing. There's the backing there in the coral. Look at that beautiful quilting on that one. I think it's free motion, isn't it, quilting that one? And then, of course, you've got the binding, the lovely green binding going around the edge. Isn't it? It's quite striking, isn't it? Very striking. Oh, I've got some, Hannah's got something to explain for this one. Right, she says, listen. Okay, that doesn't make any sense to me. Right, right. Sorry about this, everyone. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Okay, right. Right, okay, you do that and I'll do this then. I'm ever so sorry about this. It's live television for you, isn't it? Uh, what it is, is you know when we do a, 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 an auction, a sale, we put so many into the auction. Well, it turns out there are even more than what we thought there were. So what's gonna happen is on the website, any moment now, because they're flying out, any moment now on the website, it's gonna say sold out. So if you go to the website to buy it, and it says sold out, there are more available. All you have to do is ring the free phone call center number, 0800 112 4433, and they will be able to allocate them to you. What, what has happened is, because obviously when the show starts, everything is allocated to the website. We're telling you all our secrets now. Um, but basically there are more. So if you're, if you're looking now on the website, you go sold out, because like I say, they're absolutely flying out. If it says sold out, we have got more, what you need to do is ring the call center, 0800 112 4433, and they'll be able to sort it all out for you. The call center are brilliant. If you've got any problems whatsoever, just get in touch with them, and they will a, be able to help you. So you get, uh, in this one, you get the fat quarter, you get the coral for the backing, you get the green for the binding, you get the um, mercury uh, for the sashing, and then you also get the fat quarters to make the house with as well. So at 50 pounds and 95 pence, I'll just move that, it looks messy, doesn't it? So you've got all of that. You've got all of that. So why is Hannah having to do that? Why can't that be done by somebody else? 50 pounds and 95 pence. I'm fine, I'm absolutely fine, because it's just lovely. Just look at the quilt. It's just beautiful, isn't it? How dramatic is that? It's obviously, it's going to be 40 by 40. It's either going to be for a child's, there you go. Or you could have it on a, as a wall hanging, couldn't you? It's a really, really lovely wall hanging, that one, isn't it? That is lovely, isn't it? 
Uh, just gorgeous. And as I say, you can mix and match the fabrics as you want to. You could, you can make the roofs out of whatever you want to make the roofs out of. You can make the background out, because you've got fat quarters of all of them, haven't you? At fifty pounds and ninety-five pence. Okay. So right. Okay. If you if you um, I'll try on the web. It's sold out on the web. They've all they've all sold out, but they are more available. Like I say, if you ring the call center. 0800 112 Okay, wouldn't be far wrong then, would they? Okay. Uh, call centre, if anybody from the call centre is watching, could you please ring, um, who should they ring? Wendy. Could you please ring Wendy? Anybody from the call centre supervisor watching, please ring Wendy. There's a bit of a mix-up, that's all. Right, I'm moving on. I'm moving over to the side now. Right. This is nice. Now, can you guess what this one's going to be? Let me hide, let me hide it, let me hide it. Can you guess what this is going to be? Look at the fabrics. Oh, it tells you. Oh, oh. Uh, it's a sailing quilt. It's a sailing. You get three and a half metres of the fabric. You get the wadding and the thread. Look at those lovely colours. I'll just put that one behind here because we're always taught, aren't we, never to put the white on the top. Uh, wait, Jay's just waving. <laughs> Yellow. Right, so you get... Three and a half meters of the fabric. Would you like to see this, son? Um, this quilt. Yeah, let's see the kit. Let's see what you get in the kit. 48 pounds, 45 pence. You get all the fabric, you get the thread, you get the warm white wadding, and you get the book. And the book is beginner friendly baby quilts. I will take you through the book in a minute because we think it slightly undersells itself, this book. Have a look at the quilt. There you go. Now, I think, was it Lucy made this one? I seem to remember it was Lucy made this one, wasn't it? Oh, back on me. Uh, have a look at the quilting on this one. If you look uh, at the quilting, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, there's blue waves here, and there's white waves here, and then there's blue waves here, and there's white waves here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, look, I'm all untucked and a mess. I'm going to go stand over here. There you go. Look, you've got the blue quilting and the white quilting. It's lovely, that wave quilting, isn't it? So should we go through, let's go through the book first of all. Let's go through the book. So, uh, beginner friendly baby quilt. It's called, it's, the whole bundle is 48 pounds and 45 pence. 48 pounds, but look at this book. Look at this gorgeous book. Look at the different colors. Um, tumbling flowers, tumbling flowers, this one's called. Uh, that's 37 by 37 inches. Obviously, you can make them to your own size. Hugs and Kisses, that one's called. Uh, that's 41 by 41. Then you've got the whirling pinwheels there. 33 by 41. Uh, then it's the sizes, because they're called baby quilts by the size, aren't they? Look at that one, the love hearts on that one. It's 38 by 38, that one. Uh, all of the, you're getting this booklet within the kit. This was done on the 23rd of June, if you want to go to YouTube, see it being made. Baby's Pal. Uh, sailing, sailing, there it is. I am sailing. 34 by 34, this one. Then you've got the Find the Pinwheel. We found it. Uh, twirling Flowers. Uh, then we've got the Star Galaxy. You see, isn't it funny? I'm looking at it close to, and I can't see the pattern on that one. Then I look at it on the telly, and I can really see it. Star Galaxy, that one. That's lovely, isn't it? Uh, blocks all stacked up. That's exactly what it says. Starry, starry stars. That's nice, isn't it? Moving on to the purple chain. It just looks like squares to me. Where's the chain? I can't see the chain on that one anyway. It's obviously what it's called. Pretty in pink. But obviously, if you made it in ours, it would be pretty in red, white, and blue. Uh, 
And then all the instructions, oh, you've even got templates in here. You've got all the templates. So you get the book, you get the book, you get the wadding, which is 45 by 60 inches, so plenty big enough to, oh. You get that reel of thread that's just rolled off the table. I'll get it in a minute. And then you get the fabrics. Okay, so how much of each of these fabrics do we get now? Because we get a total of three and a half meters, don't we? A meter of the cornflower. Oh, I could just look, I could actually just look in there, but a meter of the cornflower, right? Then you've got the um, antique white, half a meter. Yeah, I'll put another one. Then you've got spot on red, half a meter. Then you've got baby blue. half a meter and then last but not least you've got the spot on uh, cobalt but it's not cobalt is it a meter of that so three and a half meters in total of that the wadding and the instructions and the reel of thread for 48 pounds and 45 pence Right, this is very popular. I was just chucking myself in because I'm going to have to... I can, actually, I could point from here, couldn't I? Um, because you can see each of the blocks. Is that... Is that right. Uh, you can see each of the blocks here are the actual boat with the sails. Right, the boat with the sails. Then you've got the sashing with the boxes at the corner. So you, that, that, this is your block, and then these are the sashing through the middle here. Then there's a frame of the white, then a nice wide frame of the blue there, and then uh, you've got the spot on on the back look, so you've got the backing for this one as well. Well, I'm beginning to wonder if that first one had backing in it as well. I said it hadn't, but maybe it did. It's lovely, isn't it? I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. No, sorry. I didn't sneeze loud, though, did I? I didn't sneeze loud. I, I love this one. Love that one. Make it... What happened then? No, no, something fell over, and I thought the quilt had fallen off the wall, but there's nothing in here. <laughs> no, Jay's on the set with me here. Um, I went like that. I just went like that and tapped the wall like that, and so something f on the other side of the wall. It's a brick, heavy brick wall, this. Don't know how it happened. Fell off on the other side of the wall. You better go and check, Jay. Well, just check that everybody's all right. Make sure it's not Bex hasn't been squashed by something. Um, isn't it? Like, I think it's gorgeous. Very, very popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I don't know what it was. Should we move on to the next one? Go on to the move to the next one, right? Uh, now, I love this next one, can I just say. Love, 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 love this next one. This one's called... There's t tension in the air today, isn't there? I cannot get the graphics that quickly, John. <laughs> Two scoop, I couldn't hear what she was saying, you see, so I had to wait for it to go in. I thought she was saying periscope, and I was like, what's it got to do with the periscope? <laughs> Two scoop, circle applique quilt with the booklet and the fabric and the bondo web and the wadding and... And then we've run out of space for the, <laughs> the other writing. Must mean you get the thread and you get the bondo web as well on this one. You get an awful lot. Uh, on this one, so uh, obviously you're getting the poly down, um, poly down wadding there. You're getting the thread. <laughs> then you're getting the uh, bond web, two packets of bond web, <laughs> and then and then you're getting the booklets. I'm sorry, it's such a mess the show today. There will be oh heads will roll. Heads will roll today. Uh, this is uh, the Baby Quilts uh, booklet here. Hooray, well done, Jay. Would you like to see the finished article? Oh, you get to the kit first, apparently. Oh. And here's the finished quilt. There you go. Worth the wait, though. Now, was that, was that Victoria Pete? Why does it go on? 
Oh, is that on the television screen? Jay, it's got a great big piece of thread on it, look. That wasn't the bottom one. There was another row below that, so the picture was too short. Go, Jay, go, go. Let's have a look at the fabrics. Oh, my word, it's chaos there. I do apologise if you're watching at home. Do you know that it'll be all right on the night? They could fill the whole, the whole show with this today, couldn't they? Right, let's do the fabrics. For 61 pounds and 95 pence, there's six meters, oh, this is gonna be interesting, six meters of fabric in this. Mauve mist, half a meter. Maze, half a meter. Baby blue, half a meter. Papaya spot on, half a meter. Mint, half a meter. Baby pink, half a meter. Coral, half a meter. Optical white, two and a half meters. Two and a half meters. So you get all of those fabrics, six meters of fabric for, this is six, yeah, six meters for 61.95, but you also get the wadding, the thread, and the bonder web, and the book, which I'm gonna go through now when we go to the other side. Look at the, look at the, look at the, look at it, look at it. It is beautiful. Now that's, own, that's not all of it, because it's four rows. It's four rows down, that one. Look, one, two, three, four rows, four rows. Oof. <laughs> Let me just put these out like this. Right, okay. It'll be fun when we come to recap this show, won't it? Right, so let me just show you everything here. Let's go through the book to start with. Oh, here we go. Baby quilts. This is right. You get this booklet. You get the booklet. I think everyone at home heard that, Joe. Flying geese. Quilt, fly home, flying geese quilt, I love flying. Oh, look at that lovely picture. So you got the flying geese. There's the one we're doing, the two scoop skirt circle applique quilt, which is why you need the bond web. Look, there's the instructions. Oh, in fact, isn't this the one that she, she got it turning? She got them turning. Anyway, then we move on to the Lincoln Log Cabin quilt. Then we've got Lazy Sunday Irish Chain. That's nice, isn't it, that one? Uh, then we've got the Building Blocks Quilt. Then we've got the Rainbow Day. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it, the Rainbow Day? You could almost do that one with ours, couldn't you? Because of all the different colors I've got here. Wish Upon a Star. Two scoop circle applique quilt. So you get the booklet, you get the threads, you get the bonder web, you get the interfacing, uh, they, they, the wadding, sorry. And then you also get all these beautiful colored fabrics. Half a meter, you reach these. Oh, half a meter, who was in yesterday? Oh, it's because the, the, the desk was unplugged, wasn't it? Hang on, I'll be with you in a second. Yeah. Um, half a meter each, these coral, baby pink, mint, papaya spot on, baby blue, maize, mauve mist, and then you get, is it two meters you said that? One, one, two, three. Two and a half meters of the optical white. Or oh, is it antique? No, optical, optical white. Six, that's good, isn't it? Do you know what? That's more than a baby quilt, really, if you think about it. Cool baby quilt. I suppose it's because, it, I suppose. They're thinking of the size and the colours, aren't they, really, rather than... Because that, that's like a big cot, that one, isn't it? But that would look lovely over the back of... If you've got a little sofa in one of the bedrooms or something like that. It'd be really lovely, wouldn't it? So there you've got the papaya spot on... Oh. Papaya spot on. You can get to, I'll let Mike get to it there. Uh, the spot, pa papaya spot on around the corner there. You've got all the white here. Now, these are appliqued on. If you look, these are appliqued. That's why you need the bond web. So you've, um, so uh, the Victoria Pete made all the instructions in the book, but you make the circle, 
and then you applique it onto the fabric, and then you quilt it. And then you've got the optical white at the back there with the simple um, quilting. It's like a big cross hatch, isn't it, going through there? And you can do what you want. Do you know what it's all about, doing what you want, isn't it, really? I love that. That's so fresh and vibrant, isn't it? And the, uh, the, the washing, uh, the fabric's machine washable, so if it is in a kiddie's room. But you know what? That'd be lovely if you've got little children around to play and you put, to put the baby down. Well, you haven't got a baby, Hannah. Hannah said she never puts, she never puts the baby down. Can you imagine? <gasps> now, you'll be quite good because you'll be the same. Anyway, yeah. Uh, well, look how good you are with your budgie, Hannah. How much are you budgie bit? Isn't that lovely? Isn't it gorgeous? Anyway, anyway, anyway. So that, for sixty-one ninety-five is the two-scoop circle applique quilt. You get everything you need. Everything you need. Uh, six metres of fabric, the booklet, the bonder web, the thread, and the, the uh, batting, the wadding, for sixty-one ninety-five. <sighs> There's more. There's more. There's more. Jennifer will be back in, 22, in 25 minutes, so. Right. So now, uh, the very first time that lovely um, Jane Alcock was on, she made this for us. She made this one for us. Okay, now, uh, isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? Now, this is called Marine Quilt. Now, I've got two colorways, but they're almost, I, hang on, which one have I got then? This one, this one, this one. Right, okay. That, I've got two colorways for this. They're very similar. Isn't it lovely though? It's, it looks quite intricate, but it's uh, lots and lots of little, if you love fiddly little work, this one will be perfect for you. Okay, so, so what you get in here is you get the booklet, which I'll go through in a second. Then you get the wadding, then you get the thread, but I'll take you through the fabrics for this one now. So you get two and a half meters of, of fabric for this one. So you get, that's lovely. I've only ever seen this fabric in this bundle. I've never seen that fabric at all elsewhere. So you get half a meter of this. You get half a meter of this. You get half a meter of this. And a meter, hang on, two and a half. Yeah, and a meter of the marine blue there. Plus the thread. Plus that. I'll go through it all with you in a second, because the other bundle, that's the marine, that's the marine colourway. This is the other colourway. This is the other colourway. So what do I call this one? Green. Greenery, this one's called. So you get half a metre, and that's the same fabric there, but in the green and blue. But then you get that fabric, which is green in the other one, but blue in this one. Then you get this, and, and then uh, two meters of that. No, one meter of that. One meter of that, half meter of each though. Sorry, I'll get it right, John. Get it right, one job, for goodness sake. Um, right, I'm just wondering, you see the pattern one at the end of that one? What color is it? Right, okay, I, I, I thought so, I thought so. Go back, go back, rewind. They won't show this when it goes out live, don't worry. They won't show this when, this is the green bundle. It's what? Yes. Right, so this is the greenery bundle. You get a green version of that. You get the green and blue version of that. Then you get the pale one of those and that for 33 pounds and 95 pence, along with the booklet, the fabric, the wadding and the thread. Right, I'll just go back to the marine one. I'll just go back to the marine one. These are the colours you get in the marine one here. That's better, isn't it? Because you haven't got the green in there now, you've just got the blues in there. Which is this fabric here. You see, you can see from, there's that fabric there, you see. So £33.95. Right, let me just take you through the book now. Because uh, Jane's made a few things, in fact, Oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you this. James back on Monday, she should make another project out of this book on Monday. I told you now, it's too late. So, it was all about techniques in here. Then we start with the stitched circle.
£33.95. We'll just double check, shall we? Thirty-three ninety-five. Here's the one. Here's the one. Here's the one that uh, Jane made. Then we've got the stenciled quilt there, which is beautiful. We're, we're dying for someone to do that. We love that one. So, so what's what's what? All tied up in wool. Then look at that one, Scallop, that one's called. These are made lovely. What would you make out of these? I think they'd make lovely cushion covers, wouldn't they, these? Uh, quilt pillow. They, oh, there, they've used that one to make a pillow, you see. Lovely, isn't it? Oh, in fact, they made pillows out of all of them. Where's the my one, then? Oh, no, they haven't made a pillow. To this is lovely. This is lovely as a wall hanging, isn't it? 33 pounds and 95 pence. Okay, right, we'll come back to this one in a second. So is that one staying up on the wall there then? Oh, <laughs> I do apologize, I do apologize. So now, which one are we starting with? And then I'll get the, the purple one, first of all. Thank you. Purple, purple, purple. Oh. <laughs> Don't ask data around to yours to organize anything. Right. Look at this. You didn't see this one close to early. It was hanging on the wall. This obviously, well, not obviously, obviously, they're all beautiful. This is the most popular. This is the most popular of the hour so far. This never ending hour. I'm just going to go like this. So, these are the corporal stripes in purple. You get the booklet, the fabric, and the thread. It's £68.45. Now, I said earlier I didn't think it included the back. But I've got a feeling it does include the backing as well, because the backing has got, look, the two different fabrics on it there. Beautiful. So it just doesn't, it's everything you need but the wadding, right? The wadding. So let me take you through it. Let me take you through it. So you've got the booklet. Oof. At £68.45. So you get the booklet. I'll just flick through the booklet for you. If we can go to the upstairs camera, that would be fabulous. Stunning stars. Uh, we've also got Optica. You see, you can make any of these, really, if you want to do the quick step. They're all lovely, these, aren't they? At £68, at Summer Dreams and Rail Fence. Now, that one doesn't sound very nice, but it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? It's completely and utterly... Look at that. I love that one. I wonder if I could make that one. And we've got all the templates and everything. Then the corporal stripes, which is the one that we've got here, which is very, very, looks complicated, but it's not at all. Very, very simple. Walk around the block is this one. Uh, woven indigo, which is lovely as well, isn't it? That's like a Wedgwood plate, isn't it? Or Delft, Delft plate, isn't it? Um, nine patch twirl. I'm sorry we're not reading any messages out this hour, but if you could hear what's going on upstairs, um, well, we can read them out later. Uh, then you've got the cherry, that's the cherry one there. Go team, go team. Oh, and I've missed the, the one for that one. Up there. Seven patch, oh, it's just called seven patch. That's gorgeous, that's very striking, isn't it, that one? Really, really lovely. And then we've got the summer shores. That's fresh and lovely, isn't it? And then all, the, all that you need to know, so you get that booklet, you get all the fabric you need. It's seven and a half metres of fabric, and the thread, and the thread. Seven and a half metres of fabric you've got in there. All the fabric you need to make that quilt at 68 pounds. And, th and this is the most popular of the show. I'm surprised you're even still watching, to be honest. But, you know, it's 
been one of those mornings. It's been like that since we arrived at six o'clock this morning. 68 pounds and 45 pence. I'll just show you, look, look. Isn't it lovely? Now you can choose, you can obviously choose which color where you use where, can't you on that? So whether you want the um, different colors to be on the border, on the back, on the, tri uh, on the triangle or the stripes as it were, because look on that one, you see you've got the purple as, the, as like a, a diamond in the middle, haven't you? Whereas you could have any of the colors in that really. 68 pounds and 45 pence. And it's the biggest, it's the biggest of all the quilts, isn't it, we've shown you today, look. That is lovely, isn't it? Actually, does it say how big it is, the finished quilt is? I'll have a quick, quick cut look. Corporal stripes, here we go. Uh, let me just, the rank of corporal is reserved for squad leaders. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, skill level beginner? Flipping heck, I'll do that. Uh, the finished size is 48 and a half by 63 and a half. Uh, and the finished blocks, oh, because the blocks aren't square, they're rectangle. 48 blocks of six by six and three quarter inches. Um, oh, I could do, I'll have a go at that one then. No, which one, which one did I say earlier I was going to make? It wasn't this one, was it? Oh, here we go, messages are coming through now. Carol from Kent says, Dear John, if the show wasn't a muddle, you wouldn't be so popular. Are you saying, Carol, what I think you're saying? I'll just pick up the thread. <laughs> um, Sandra, hello, just say I'm enjoying spending my birthday with you, John. He's bright number. Sandra, happy birthday. How old are you, Sandra? How old are you, Sandra, my love? This has still got blooming drawing pin still in it. Are you 39? Are you 39 like me, Sandra? Alicia, oh, I love that name. Hello, John. I'm glad it's not just me that needs to lie down in a dark room today. <laughs> Loving the quilts, Alicia. Oh, look, that's lovely, isn't it? That's really nice. Right. Yeah, right, that goes there, goes there. Yeah. Right. Which one would you like to do next? The boats, please. Boats. Here they are. There it is hanging on the wall. Has this one got safety pins in it? No. Now Lucy made this one. It's so cute, isn't it? Look. Nice backing is there as well. So let's just have a, oh, that's the furthest one away. So sailing quilt. So you get three and a half meters of fabric. You get the wadding, the thread, and the book. Here's the book. Beginner friendly baby quilts. Do you know what, the next day I'm just gonna let Jennifer talk on her own. I'm not gonna say it, I'll let Jennifer do it on her own the next day. Um, it's such a beautiful book, this one. It's got all the different quilts, look at that. I love that floating heart. It's beautiful, isn't it? Baby's log cabin, baby's pal. No, that's the wrong, oh, I'm not, I'm not getting involved. I'm not getting involved. 48 pounds and 45 pence. So you get the book, you get the wadding, you get the thread, and then look at these lovely fabrics. So you get the marine blue, the optical white. Oh, sorry. So you get all those fabrics. You switched me off, I think. Meter of this. Meter of this, half meter of this, half meter of that, and half meter of that. Yeah, 48 pounds and 45 pence. That's cute, isn't it? That's really, really lovely. Okay, then, should we move on to that one behind me there? Oh, yes, because we'll do the houses next, because Jay's busy at the moment. There's the picture, this is the two scoops. This is two scoops. Ooh. It's lovely, isn't it? Very, very fresh, isn't it, this one? It's lovely, isn't it? Now, this is a plique, this one. This has got a plique on it. This comes from this booklet, 6195. That comes from this booklet here, at Baby Quilts. And it's got all, oh look, it's even used it as its, um, as its forward uh, picture, and there. Uh, so you've got their flying geese, that's the flying geese one, oops. 
It's pretty, that child. I wish I was happy like that child today. Two scoop circle applique. That's nice, and the way you lay, lay it out and everything. Lincoln log cabin quilt. Now, a uh, 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 lazy Sunday Irish chain quilt. Building blocks quilt. And rainbow days quilt. Isn't that lovely? Well, where? Wish upon a star quilt. Oh, well, let, me, let me just make my wish. No, still here. Still here. I'm, not, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I love it here. I just, I just get a bit stressed. No, I don't want to go to Tropical Island. Not today. I'm not ready. Uh, Bonder web. Bonder web. And threads. Then look at all the fabrics. Oh, don't talk to me about taking the 100. Hannah said to me before I went to Gibraltar, you can take as many as you want through. As long as they're all under 100 mil. So I went to Boots, right? I went to Boots and I bought, I, I got carried away because I was like, oh, look, all these little 100 milliliter things. Oh, I have one of those. Oh, things I didn't really need. Anyway, get to the airport. They went, oh, you can only take one bag this big, right? So I had to, th yeah, but ha Hannah's saying you put it in five or six bags and put them in other people's trolleys. You can't do that. <laughs> right, so in this one, you get um, papaya, spot on. You get mint. You get coral, you get pink, you get all these half meter blue, maize, and mauve mist, all half meters. Then the white, two and a half meters of the white. Two and a half meters of the white, 61 pounds and 95 pence. I've got another one to show you yet before I go over there, haven't I? Right, right, okay. Now, house. Right, now this, there's still an issue. You have to ring for this one. The issue will never be resolved. You have to ring. <gasps> no, no, it hasn't. No, no. Right. Look, isn't it lovely? Made by Joe Avery. Really, really cute. Now, what you get in this one is you get your warm white. You get instructions on this one. You get the actual instructions of how to do that one. Uh, not only, and then you, oh, hang on, and then you get your fabric. So you get your coral fabric, your green fabric, and your mercury fabric. Two meters of coral, a meter of mercury, and half a meter of spearmint. But you also get the fat quarter. You also get the fat quarter to make houses out of. Now, if you notice, all the houses, oh, it's not behind me. All the houses are bungalows, right? Oh, you got a picture, you got a picture, you got a picture. All the houses are bungalows, look. But in the kit, there's enough also to make a two-story house for a cushion. Oh, you, can, you don't have to use it as a cushion, you can use whatever you want, but it, there, there's one, a 14-inch square, could be a cushion front, could be a placemat, could be a wall hanging, anything you want, just to team in with it. And you get the thread. 50 pounds and 95 pence, come with me. Come with me, because this was a right old mess, right? This one was. Right. This is what you're making, right? And it was made by Jane Alcock the very first time she was on. This one had comes in two colorways, right? The first colorway is marine, which is, right. Right, okay, which is that one over there then. That one over... Right, this one. Right, so you get as you, as your. That's half a meter. You get this one. Uh, row and leaf in green, even though it's marine, you get it in green. Verbena, like lemon verbena. Yeah, 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 half a meter of that. And then the one at the back, marine, uh, you must get a meter of that one, plus the thread, plus the booklet, plus the wadding. We got there in the end, we got there in the end. So all of that, sorry, sorry about that. That's the one you get, that's what you get, even though the other one's called green, that's the what you get, right? So then the other bundle is this one, which they've called green, so you're getting the same fabrics, but in different colors. So you get the darker one of these, 
you get the pale uh, mint one of this, you get the blue flat of leaves, and you get jade, a meter of that, plus the thread, plus the wadding, plus the booklet. And I've still got two minutes left. But anyway, we've got to go through the booklet yet. Yeah, we've got to go through it. Now, Jane said, when you make this, when you do make this, there's lots and lots and lots of little, because look at the, the width of all the stripes, right? There's lots and lots and lots of little bits to sew together on this one. I mean, it's exquisitely done, beautifully, beautifully done. But there's lots and lots of bits to do with that one. The thing is, you don't have to make this quilt with it. You can make whatever you want with the fabrics. You've got two and a half meters of the fabric. Okay, let me show you the booklet. Right, here we go. Fabulous mini quilts, it's called. Fabulous mini quilts. So, we've got the stitch circles in there. Oh, sorry, I'll hold that one up for you. Stitch circles. We have got that one. Oh, there it is, there it is. The modern graphic quilt, it's called but in the marina or the green, marine. Then we've got, oh, I've missed one out, sorry. We love this one. We love this one. We want somebody to make this one. Uh, maybe I'll do it. We want job doing. All tied up in wool is the next one. Then you've got 35.95 for this. We're doing that scallops on Monday. Okay, that's me done. Thank goodness that hour's over. Jennifer Taylor will bring semblance into the building. Some semblance of um, normality. normality in three minutes from now. And she's making a tote bag, which has uh, got lots and lots to it. So you've got to listen carefully. I will see you with Jennifer and a proper show, a professional show, in three minutes from now. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Join us on Thursday the 10th of August for a day like no other. The maestro of colour, Kay Fassett himself, will be visiting the Sewing Quarter studio. Kay Fassett has inspired people across the world with his colourful work in fabric, knitting, needlepoint, patchwork, painting and mosaic. And in these two unmissable programmes, we'll meet the man behind the fabric masterpieces that so often feature in our shows. So tune in on Thursday the 10th of August at 9am and 11am as we step into Kaif's world, exclusively on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. So today I'm going to show you how to do a double stitch. Now you would use a double stitch at the start and the end of your sewing to uh, secure your threads rather than using a rig, really big knot. You're going to want to take your needle through the front of your fabric first and then come out back through the front. So I'm using really big stitches at the moment so I can see what I'm doing. You're going to leave a tail before you then repeat that in and out motion. So you can see that's one. I'm going to go back through again and that's two. So you can see I've done two stitches in the same place. That's giving me my double stitch. You would then do whatever stitch it is that you're going to go on to do. So I'm just going to do a quick running stitch. OK, so now I'm going to do my double stitch at the very end of my uh, stitch there. So it's repeating the process. So I'm going in, and then back out, in, and then back out before clipping my threads. So obviously you would clip these closer when you get to uh, finishing your garment. So there you have it. Join us at the quilting event of the year this summer. From the 10th to the 13th of August, we'll be at the Festival of Quilts at Birmingham NEC. Come to the Sewing Quarter Cafe where you can meet our presenters and enjoy a spot of English paper piecing with special guests, including talented quilter Joe Carter. And on Sunday the 13th of August, join me, John Scott, and designer Mandy Shaw at the Sewing Quarter Workshop. Learn how to make Mandy's red work Christmas decorations and take home a free iron-on pattern transfer to help you get started. If you fancy being part of the fun, head to www.thefestivalofquilts.co.uk and use the voucher code 
SEWQ17 for £2.50 off adult tickets and £1 off concessions. We hope to see you there. Festival Quilts on the Friday. I'm doing the show here. I'm I, I on during the day on the Friday, aren't I? And then I'm going there after the show on Friday. And then I'll be there on Sunday, nearly all day on the Sunday. So if you are if you are there, pop in and say hello. I'll either be on the immediate media stall, a stall, I call it stall, stand, or I'll be wandering around trying to buy something. Are you going? Yeah, I'm there. Oh, Jennifer's there. I can't wait for the sewing bee one because you're a star, a queen bee of the sewing <laughs> bee one, aren't you? Anyway, anyway, less of that, less of that. Look at this. Look at this. It's got pockets. It's what, what? It's got pockets. It's got pockets galore. Look. I love that. What a lovely bag that is. Uh, Jennifer's uh, rustled this up quickly for us. Uh, but before we go and see Jennifer, let's have a look at what you get in the kit. Because we've got three different bundles. Right, the one that uh, Jennifer's used is this one. So what you get in this one is you get that lovely ticking, which you all love. So you get half a metre of the ticking, which is this. Then you get, now this, this isn't the Macau solid. This is like a, um, a canvas, isn't it, this one? Half a metre of the ivory canvas. And then this one here is the mercury, is it not? Uh, for you, for two metres, two metres, two metres you get of this one. Two metres, plus you get the thread, uh, plus you get the wadding, plus you get the pattern for £35.95. <laughs> pence. Jennifer's just left the studio, she's run off. Right, next one. Are you all right, Hannah? Oh, dear. Orange and blue, this one's called. Nice. Nice, isn't it? It's, um, so this is the orange ticking here, which I've never seen the orange ticking before, I don't think. It's nice, isn't it? Then in the middle here, you've got a very orange um, canvas, 100% cotton. And then you've got, the, is that navy or dark blue, that one there? Dark blue, I thought it was. £35.95 with the thread, with the uh, pattern, with the uh, interfacing, £35.95. And last but not least, now is this the one you're using to make, this yes. one here? The one you're going to see uh, Jennifer doing next is this one here, which is a lovely bundle, lovely colour. So you've got the grey, um, you've got the grey ticking. You've got that, look at that gorgeous colour. How rich is that? I call that kingfisher. Oh, it's teal. It's teal cotton canvas. It's tink kingfisher. It's not teal at all. It's cat kingfisher. And then that lovely rich grey uh, cotton there. Uh, then you get the thread. Then you get... That's what I've just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they may look similar, but the canvas and the Macau are solid are completely different. Um, here we go. Right. Oh, Jennifer, I need you just Taking to take breath. over. Big, br big breath. Big breath. Right, oh, I'll put that in the picture. <laughs> Just move it in. Bring it over. Right. Make the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Right, Do you okay. have any questions for Jennifer? Just get send them in. Them in. Yeah. Send them right. in, send them in. You all right, mate? I am, thank you. <laughs> right. Take a breath. Yes. Right, this is the bag. It's no, a great that's bag. that's a pattern. No, but it's a great bag. Yes. I love it. It's really good. I love a pocket. And Are it's got options? pockets and claws. Yes, there are other options. So you have um, the just one. Look at it now. You've got the one that I've made, which is variation A. Right. Then you have variation B. Yes. Which, which is that one there? Has a. Um, it actually has a um, like a straw um, drawstring. Drawstring. So you can close oh, on, it uh, and enclose inside, yes. it. Yeah. Um, and then I believe the other option... Um, and what's the other option, then? Is it inside pockets with the drawstring? They're very similar. They're very similar, the options. But the, the options are, in our bundle, you've got enough fabric to make this, this one that we're making now. There you go. That's it. So now, it's... 
It's time consuming, isn't it? Let's have a look. Well, well, I was quite surprised. Um, oh, yes, I see they're both, sorry, they've both got drawstrings. They've both got drawstrings, but I think the other option is that you've got the internal pockets, yes. which, of course, in, to be fair, guys, you could put pockets on all, or just go pocket-tastic. Yes, put, put yeah, pockets exactly. on everything. Exactly. Um, there one. are a lot of pieces in this pattern. So don't think, oh, I'll make this in an afternoon. Oh, it's not an afternoon job. It is an afternoon job. Um, you've got interfacing, you've got wadding in there, your, everything's lined, including the pockets, you've got your straps, there is a lot in there. So in total, you've got like 10 pieces. Is it complicated or is it just that there's lots of pieces? Um, it's not necessarily complicated, but again, similar to the wrap skirt that we did this morning, as long as you are getting your, your notches in the right place and you're getting all of the markings out, then it should be plain sailing. But if you don't get those notches in, then things aren't going to go to plan. And, and um, also, it's got quite a complicated bottom. Well, it's a two-piece bottom, so everyone's probably used to a simple tote, whereas this it's got th this tote has got one, two, uh, three pieces to it, and then now obviously that's doubled because it's double-sided. So of there's course. six pieces in that altogether. Um, sorry, uh, eight, because you've got lining in there as well. Exactly. So there's, there's a lot of pieces. What come, when you look at it, you just go, oh, it's just a bag with pockets, but there is quite a lot going on in there. We do love it. We, we do, do love, love it. Pattern. It's a great pot. Well, I think it's well, I think it's great just for I, I think it's city chic. Oh yeah, definitely. Especially well, with the colourway. This with the linen, this with the linen skirt, skirt earlier, looks amazing. Gorgeous. Yeah. But then I'm thinking like exactly what it's saying on the tin there with the crafty pockets, yeah. for your scissors and everything. It really is a, a bag of oral. It's occasions. very much like when I used to work on films, the makeup girls, when they came to set yeah. to do their checks, would have bags like this and they'd have all their brushes and everything like that. Yeah, so they could yeah. quickly get on with it. You know. Right. So you can get on with it now. So get on. Get on with it. Okay, so I'm going to be using my tracing wheel and paper again, uh -huh. um, and I'm just concentrating on the front piece. I've already cut out all the other pieces ready to go, but we did we did quite a lot of detail on that on the first show. So if you have if you missed that, watch us back. Um, the, uh, the paper I have to tell you sold out. Jennifer sold out of the paper. The tracing wheel is still available, but the tracing paper's not. Okay, we'll get it back in stock. We'll get it back though. in we'll stock. Back um, so we've got different colours here. We've got the red, white, and blue. I'm going for the yellow because it will show up better on the green. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to basically trace around the section which is relating to our handles. Right. So the actual panel is the front and the back of the bag. This is the front. Well, it's one half of the front and the back of the bag right, because okay. you've also got, if I bring it in, where is it? There it is. The other half, which is that section. Oh, okay, yes, of course. Okay, now that is the front of the bag yes. and the back of the bag if you yes. double it, okay? So it's only one half of the front and the back. Um, so, okay, and I'm just going to quickly go over again with these placement lines because these are the lines that you'll be using for your box pleats. So I've already gone in with some tailor's tacks already. So that's already that done. Any, um, oh, yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm trying to see it's what an, it's, it's an imaginary one. Yes. It's an imaginary That's one. why you need the card. That's why you need the cardboard. Yes. It's got a nice action on it, though, isn't it? Yeah. Now, that's very different to my tracing wheel. Like I was saying earlier, my tracing wheel is like a torture instrument because it's, well, it's got, got such long... it's got spikes on it, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, okay, so I've transferred those parts. I've already gone ahead and done my notches in the sides and the bottom, so everything's ready and dusted to go. So I can put my tracing wheel away now. Okay, Diana just said, can she have a look at the wheel? Yes. Not, Diana, look, it's not like our old-fashioned ones with spikes on. It's not sharp, but it's just a very clean edge. So instead of getting dotted lines, you're going to get solid lines, aren't yes. you? Because on ours, remember those. in the old days, you just got, we well, still do, dotted lines on it. But on yours, on this, you're going to so get you, actual straight lines. You might be lines. able to see it when I take the pattern off. There you go. Can you see those lines on there? There you go. So we've got the lines. So if you had the ones with the spikes, then there would just be dots. Just dotted lines. But that's giving you a nice, solid, bold, straight line. Okay? So that's done. Obviously, you would repeat that on the other side. Okay. Right? Now, Diana, sorry. No, when you, you did your skirt it. earlier, Diana yeah. asked how much fabric she'd need to make a different skirt. Diana, you sent all your messages on the web chat. But what happens with the web chat is as people come in, they disappear. So could you email all of it to us? Then we can get back to you with the information. Okay. Thank you. Right, so that's that bit done. So right. again, even though you're not really doing anything with this yet, it's important that you get all of that transferred over, otherwise you can't do the next step, right? right? Um, so the next part of it is the handles, which 
again, it feels a little bit weird at first because normally you put your handles on last, don't you? Whereas yeah. with this pattern, it's the first thing you do. Oh, okay. Um, so I've gone ahead and done my handle already, and you can see that I've already transferred a mark there which will coincide with my bag yeah. on that one. But I'm just going to show you a quick way of doing the handles because it's quite a big length, and you can see we've got this really nice uh, row of stitching detail on our um, bag handles as well. And I'm just going to show you a quick way of making those nice okay. and nice and even, okay? And um, so I'm going to go straight over to the sewing machine. I've already gone ahead and sewn these together with the right sides together and turned it out and pressed it. So that's the only thing that I've done at, ahead of time, um, but that's pretty simple to do, and I'm okay. sure you've seen it quite a lot already. Uh, just so you know, the blue and ivory tote is this, is this. It's lovely, isn't it, that one? Uh, but yeah, but I, I do want them to order this one from that one there. And then the bottom, the orange and the blue, which is the other one, and then this is the... There's the orange and the blue. Right, so that's the orange and blue, which is at the bottom of the screen, but we're now going to change the one at the bottom of the screen to the one we're actually working with. So that it's, um, so you can, sorry, I just didn't want people to no, think, think, oh, I'll buy that one, I like that one when it's that When it's one. not that one. No, right, no that's okay. a good point. Right, I'll let you get on. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my um, straight stitch. So I'm just going to do one side of it first. So the, um, the band is all already secured, so in theory, you could just go ahead and put this on the um, bag straight away. Yes. But if you want the stitch detail, and then this is what you'd need to do. So it's just, I'm using the edge of the foot as a guide all the way towards the edge. And I noticed these are quite soft because you've gone for the soft look. Could you put interfacing in them you if you want to? You could put interfacing in them, of course you could. If you're going to be carrying, because I'm just thinking if you're going to be carrying anything heavy in it, like books or something like that, mm. I think you're going to use it at college or something, you've got books yep. in it. it. Without the interfacing in it, it might be a bit hard on your hands, whereas interfacing would make it easier to carry, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? As in it was not going to cut in to your no, hands. No, it cut it so much. In. I just prefer softer shoulders, um, softer on the shoulder. Yeah, so that's because you're like, a lady of leisure. You don't carry anything heavy. You've got lackeys. <laughs> you've got lackeys to do that for you. Not like the real, uh, all those real people have to carry bags of potatoes and things. <laughs> hey, Hannah. Oh, I'll have you know, I carry quite a lot of things. Oh, okay. A lot of light I'm things. A, no, I'm actually, I, well, it doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> anyway, right, so I'm coming up to the end of my, um, of my loop. Yeah. Um, so rather than take it out from the machine and start again. I'm literally twisted my loop and I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna start off. So I've created a big loop. Oh, okay. It just cuts out time. Yeah. I thought I'd run out of thread then. No, you're all right. Um, so it's just a quick way of doing it. Otherwise you're having to remove it, turn it around, go yes. back around. So then all the way down to the bottom one. So now we've got two lines of parallel stitching using the edge of the foot with the edge of the tape. Yeah. So again, I'm coming up towards the end. Now this time, I'm flipping it again, but I, I actually want to get the foot in between those two lines of stitching. So rather than going one, two, three, I'm stitching the either side and then going one, down three the middle. One, three and two you're doing. Yes, that's correct. So I'm just going to come down, slow down, and then across the bridge and down you go. So now you've got um, a guide then, haven't you, with your stitch? Yes. All the way down the middle. Lucy's got this machine and she said with her old one, mm. if she sewed at night time, she'd keep the whole family awake. But with this machine, they can't <laughs> hear it. It's quite as a mouse, isn't it? Yeah. And it's got a bit of welly, I must admit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but at home, it's not magnified by your microphone coming through, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, it is. It's a lot quieter than, um, than my machine at home. So I'm just going to cut those threads now. So there we have two of our straps with our parallel stitching done. Okay, it's Brilliant. just a really quick way of doing those parallel lines so they're nice and even on both sides. So, yeah, stitch one, three, and then do the, the middle one last. And then, and then you the when nice you do the middle one, one, you can put your foot on both of the other two lines. And, and then use that as your guide. Straight line, yep. yeah, exactly. Okay, right. So, we're on to our first step of the bag. So, this is our front piece. Um, we've got our bag handles, and I've gone ahead and already made the marks on my handles so I know where to stop the stitching. So on here, we've got points of reference, which is for our box pleats, which is our pockets. And then we've got these double ones here. Now, this is for the strap placements, OK? So I'm just going to pop that on there with a little pin. Or two. Or two. So again, just make sure that your handle isn't twisting, OK? So you want it to be lying flat. So the way I like to do it is just kink it like that. Yeah, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. 
because what you don't want is it to be doing that and then no. you've got a twist okay so lie flat do a 45 degree angle same again down there and then you know your handles aren't going to get twisted yeah Okay, so now I'm going to sew down. I'm going to go down, um, I mean, this is prefer uh, preferential if you want to do so. You could go down the edge of the band and then cut across. Right. Or, for, if you don't want an extra line of stitching, go down the existing line of stitching and then do that. Right, but most of this, yep. am I right in saying, will be covered by the pockets anyway? You will be pocket, but yes, exactly. We'll be um, covered by the pockets anyway. You'll only see the very top section, the very, okay. very top section. So I don't know if you can see that from that side there. Can't move that pattern. Can you see that there? Yeah, so you can just so see So you're only going to see the box that you draw at the yeah, top, really, exactly. aren't you? Yeah, exactly. All yeah. right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll get on to the, uh, the pockets, the most important part. I mean, really, it's a lot of squares and rectangles, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, from the just... stitch point of view, it's not complicated. It's just that there's a lot of construction, a lot of pieces. So it is a time-consuming one. Oh. Something it was, it was telling me, to hurry up, Jenny. That's what it was saying. <laughs> Stop gassing, get on with it. So, yeah, it's not necessarily a complicated piece. Yeah. It's just there's a lot of pieces to it. And um, like I say, there are 10, uh, 10 pieces all together, 10 pattern pieces. So obviously you get two of each, so yeah. that's 20 pattern pieces. So that's a lot of fabric, a lot of pattern uh, cutting out, as well as fabric cutting out. So it does take you a lot longer than you think. Oh, foot down to use the cutter. I'm getting used to it, I'm getting used yeah, to it. Yeah, slowly. Okay, so there's our handle, yeah. and then uh, you can repeat that on the other side, but you get you get the gist. Okay, you just got up and would you sew a square? You can there sew for a square, and then you could also do a cross yeah. and a square as well, yeah. but it's entirely up to you. Could okay. you do, didn't you do something the other day where you did a triangle in a corner? Yeah, that was a pocket. Yes, but quite, quite nice to do a triangle, I mean, as long as it's holding it. In as place, long as it's yeah. holding it, but I know from the construction of the bag, not only have we got this, this parallel line of stitching, Plus that top section. I'm also going to be stitching down here as well. Now that's a oh, lot of yeah, stitching for stitches, a bag yeah, handle. Yeah, yeah. So that extra bit there may or may not necessarily. Depends what you're going to it use. Depends it on what you're carrying yeah, it yeah. for, really. Um, so again, it's your bag. Do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But you just repeat that on the other side, and okay. then that is that bit done. Right. Okay. So then you put that to one side. Oh, right. See what I mean? There's a lot of yes. bit here, bit there. Come back. Come back to that piece. So now. The only thing that's good about that is when you prepare all the pieces, the actual putting together. Seems to go together really quickly, yes. doesn't it? Because but all it's all in the preparation. It's all isn't it? in the preparation yeah. and having the right tools to be able to get the marks on the fabric in the first place, so you don't right. forget. Okay. So now we're going to be doing our box pleat. So I've already gone ahead and done one section for you. So you can see it looks almost like a, an instrument, doesn't it? Yes. And um, so there's our beautiful pocket. It does look great in the stripe. It lovely, just looks lovely. Really, really lovely. Really, really lovely. So I've gone ahead and pressed that already, and as you can see from the binding at the top there, that it's actually lined as well. Wow, Which this thing's really got lovely. such a professional finish yeah, to it, hasn't this it? This is bag? really is a really, really lovely, lovely bag. So how so you started off with just a, a one long strip of fabric, did you to do that? Yeah, so I'm gonna show you oh, that you section. Show, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. I just wanted to show yeah, you no, what, no, what no. it's gonna look like before we start stitching it on. Okay, so with this, you have your lining, which is that section there. I've got our main fabric, which I have interfaced. So that comes in the kit. The interfacing comes in the kit. In the kit, right. So there's no, no sign of wadding yet, then? No sign of wadding. So what I decided to do, because of the wadding that we've got, I thought the construction of the bag was the most important thing. So if you do this with the eat the fusible, and then you the wadding section, do last. Right, OK. okay do yeah. last. So yeah. this is all interface. So really, all you're dealing with is is the one piece of material or it feels yes, like one yeah. piece of material okay right. right okay so again I've made sure that I've um, transferred my notches so you can see I've got these little blue marks here one two three one two three those are indicating my uh, box pleats one two three oh, yeah. one two three and then another one down here one two three that's it okay so and um, that's the main one there and then obviously we've got our lining there's no markings on that so you don't need to worry about that one so the first thing we need to do is to stitch our lining to our main pocket piece okay right. so it's right sides together but with this gray it, it doesn't really matter but the main thing is that that fabric is facing you uh, now uh, uh, go on uh, you've got you've got a binding on the pocket here of the lining but they're both the same 
So you very well pointed out, John. So it looks like you've bound the tops of your pockets, which is a really good one because it, it's a cheat. So if I just fold it over, you can see there's a difference. Yes, I that's thought that giving was you that binding effect. So, so this this excess here, don't when you put them together, don't be thinking, oh crikey, I've cut this one too big. That there is the allowance is for the for sorry. the binding. So I'm going to go ahead and okay. sew that in straight While away. While we do, I'll just explain. The teal and the grey tote is the one that Jennifer's making. Lots of you've got that in your baskets. A quarter of the stock's gone and lots of people with you in the basket. And then this one here is this one here, the blue and ivory. And then the orange and the blue one is... The That's orange and the blue one, oh, really lovely. They're all nice, aren't they? They're so... That, that is really popping we'll colour. We'll go across at half past and show you all the different colours. I wish I was making the orange one now. And why aren't you? I don't know. I suppose you just have to wait for the box to arrive. Yeah. And you open it and go, right, that's what Let's I'm go. doing. Let's go. Let's go for it. So now you're, just, you're literally just sewing along the top of that along section. Along the top of the section, that's right, yeah. And so could you just grab me the iron mat, please? I as can. Well, while you're there. And the iron? Yes, please. Let's hope it's on. It is. I'll just move this out of the way. Right, OK. Actually, shall I bring it over here? So it's oh, do you want it in the middle? Yeah, so we don't have to keep oh, fighting yeah. this. Just easier then, isn't it? Right, OK, so we have our lining piece attached to our pocket. So now we need to ensure that we're pressing that lining away from it. So all of the seams are going into the lining, OK? So I like to just hold it over and pull the lining rather than the actual... And that way you're just ensuring that you're, you're butting up against that stitch line that you've just created. Okay. So that's that. And then that's going to fold back on itself. Yeah. And then it should... Oh. There's a bit of magic about to happen. So again, I would go ahead and get the pressing in ahead of time. Yeah. So normally when, I'm, when I do my shows, I cheat a lot, don't I? I just carry on and go ahead. Whereas with this make, you really, really, really cannot do that cheat. Um, obviously at home, you take your time and you press at every stage. But um, with this bag, you really, really do need to do that. And the reason being is because when we're creating the box pleats, which is the next step, you yeah. need to ensure that this this lining is attached or being behaving itself yes. in the back while you're doing your box pleat, okay? Yeah. Okay, I think that's, that's sufficient for now. Okay, so there you go. There's our, our binding effect on the I'm top of... I'm just holding the eye here. Let's go. <laughs> Right. Um, there's our binding effect on the top of our How pocket. brilliant is that? So that's just the seam allowance. You've, been, you've, you've pressed, it round, pressed it the round the seam allowance. To, to give you that binding effect on the top of your pocket. Lovely. So even at home, even though we're not doing it, I mean, that would just be a really nice um, patch pocket, wouldn't it, with that effect in yes, straight yeah. away? So you could, you know, use these techniques in any of your, in, in your projects. Mm -hmm. So rather than having lining and then the fabric and then attaching a binding, you can do the cheap method. So you just need to add the seam allowance yeah. in, all right? Right, OK, so this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. So now we're going to start creating um, a box pleat. OK, so if I just bring this back in a second. So basically, a box pleat is like a vent. Can you see? I'm just coming to you now. There we go. So that's what it looks like when it's closed, but you can see that it vents open. So that's your box pleat. And then you can have um, inverted box pleats, which look like that. So it's the same thing, but it's just facing the other way, OK? But they're both, called, they're both box pleats, and that's what we're going to be doing right now. So the reason why you need the three points of reference is because the outer edge is going to come to the centre, and then so is the other one. So you need to go ahead and do that with all of them. And what's really great about this, the stripe, is that it's, it's giving you the line to fold exactly, again. It exactly. really, really is. So I'm using my initial um, marking at the bottom, and then I'm actually using the fabric to get the remainder. So this is where you really do need a hot iron. Yeah. And again, notice I'm not moving up and down. You are literally keeping that in place. So please watch your fingers, guys, because the yeah, exactly. material will get hot. So again, making sure that your lining is in place, it's not bagging underneath, that the fabric is together. Rolling back to our centre point now. And again, I would just fold back in that original one half of the box pleat. 
So you might as well Hannah give it a says second her, place. Her um, netball skirt had box pleats in it oh, when she was at school. Oh, yeah. They were really nice detail to add on skirts, actually. Yeah. But I did, obviously did a lot of uh, period costumes and, and the box pleating and cartridge pleating comes into it a lot, do you know what I mean? And mm. knife pleating as well. <clears throat> so a knife pleat would just be where just it's, one, so it's, that's it's just folded knife, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, not, and folded and multiple yeah. times, whereas these are folding into each yes. other. Okay, so I'm just popping some pins there just to hold it in place while it cools down. But again, this fabric is so good to work with. Is it a linen base? It feels linen-y. No, it's 100% cotton. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's a brilliant fabric. It's almost like a canvas, yeah. isn't it? Um, but it really does, again, behave underneath the sewing machine, which is what we like. Okay, so I'm not going to go too mad with these box pleats, but just so we can get started. And why are, we putting, why are they putting box pleats in? Why don't they just sew it flat? Well, because if you see on the bag, you've got the... Um, it's giving you the extra room in your pockets. So, if it, so you see, with the, bo with the box pleats being here... It's making your pockets like a bucket pocket. Yeah. Because if you didn't you have the box space. pleats, the only space pocket. you'd have would be obviously that much. You could put thin things in. Yes. But you couldn't, you know, you put your bottle of gin in there, yeah, could yeah. you really? Well, if it was it, a flat there one. is another internal pocket. So if we've got time, I'll show you the other type of pocket. And that is flat again. So you can feel the difference with the pocket. But that you just need for your phone or your keys or something like that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. OK, so those are your box pleats. So you basically continue going along yes, with that. Yeah. And um, now with the bag, you actually attach these two pieces together, okay? And there's actually a third, um, there's two more box pleats that need to be done and they're actually done on the seam. And are they the ones at the end? No, this is oh. what's really interesting about the bag. So you think that you would be, um, where the seams are, you'd make the seams match up in the yes, side, yeah. but they, they're not. They're actually slightly twisted. Oh, so okay. there's the seam on the pocket, but there's the oh, seam on the bag. Yes. And that gives you a nice side pocket in yeah. the bag. OK, but so you're working in a circle. So again, this is it's not it's not a complicated process pressing these um, these box pleats in, but then adding it to the bag in a cylindrical and having to sew these in. It, it's quite tricky. All right. Okay. So uh, we'll just we'll just do these pockets, and I'll go over and do the I'll do and do the bundles. Well, I can I can hold five if you want. Oh right, then. Yeah, do you yeah. mind? No, I don't, that's I don't fine. Want to, I, I know you're in mid flow, and no, I don't no. want to stop well, your I've creative got, juices. Rather than, rather than print the whole, uh, uh, press Please. the whole thing. Yeah. I'll just focus on one side of the bag. Okay, right. so you can go away and oh, come back. Thank you. <laughs> you're very welcome. <laughs> right. Uh, this one, the grey, the one that Jennifer's making now, the grey and teal bundle. So what you get here is you get the thread, you get the interfacing, and then you get the ticking, you get the beautiful, gorgeous, um, I call it kingfish, they call it teal, and then the lovely grey there. <clears throat> That's cotton canvas, that one. That one's cotton canvas, that one. And that one's Macau solid, that one there. It is very different. It looks the same on your telly, but it is very, very different fabric. £35.95. pence. Half of these have gone. Half of this colourway has gone already. Half that colourway has gone already, right? Moving across to... Now, the one that Jennifer would love to have made, the orange one, not surprised, it's very striking. But you see, I think that navy blue and orange or navy blue and caramel look, always look gorgeous together, don't they? So in this one, you get the orange ticking. Then you get the bright orange uh, cotton canvas. Then you get the dark blue... Uh, Cotton thread, uh, not thread, cotton fabric. And then you get the thread and you get the interfacing for £35.95. And, and then last but not least, the one that Jennifer's already made. Uh, this one is the most popular so far, the one that Jennifer's made. So more than half of this one's gone. More than half of this one's gone. So you've got the blue ticking. You've got the, is that uh, cream, ivory? You're right over there, Jennifer. You always get a cough in the last hour, don't you? She's gone get some water. Jay! <coughs> Ivory is the canvas, cotton canvas, and then the mercury is the, is the cotton canvas. Water's on its way, Jennifer. Water, Jay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's come running in going, do you want something? <laughs> Right, OK, uh, so you get all of those bundles, £35.95. There is water on its way. Don't uh, pass out on us yet, Jennifer. Oh, I'm always in the second hour. I think it's the aircon. Oh, do you? <coughs> Excuse 
Excuse me. So Obstacle. sorry. <laughs> Right. Oh, oh no, she's got a lovely. I can't turn how to use those sippy cup things. Oh. <sighs> Good telly. I'm right. so sorry. <clears throat> right. As if nothing had happened. Yes. Right, so. Um, they won't show that bit when it turns out. <laughs> so just remember, um, I'm just going to be doing half of the bag, otherwise, yes. it, it, or visually, you won't see what I'm doing yep. at all. Okay, so we have our box pleats already pressed in. We've got our bag handles already attached. Let me just move that out of the way. Yes, because okay. in theory, in reality, <coughs> that's so That would have been so yeah. long, yeah. Um, and we've got our points of reference. So not only have I drawn the line in, I've also got my little um, tailor's tax to indicate where I stop sewing. And we've got our lovely um, box pleated pockets already impressed and ready to go. Now, I found it easier to sew this on with the box pleats open, open yes. and then do the stay stitching at the bottom last. Yes. In the instructions, it's doing it the other oh, way around. Okay. No, because that way you can't get into yeah, the... Yeah, I felt like you couldn't get in, yes. and I really want to make sure that those pockets are nice and secure, because yeah. I love a good pocket. Yes. So I've decided to do it the other way around. Okay. So do what's best for you, okay? So I'm going to open up my um, freshly pressed pocket. Um, I know that that's the centre of it, because I've got my notch on there, and I know that's where that needs to be there. So yeah. I'm going to pop that on there first. So that's that section there. So you see, because the pox pleat is now open, I can get in there. I can get in there and do the stitch. Yes, yeah, because can I just show this one? If you were to try and sew on the end, I'm on the end pleat here, right? If you were to try and sew down there and this has already been caught down, it's, I'll just take those out, and that's already been stay stitched down, which is what they say in the pattern. You can't get to the, you can't get to the actual bottom of the pocket. Or you also, unless you're very, very, very good, um, there's a, there might be not a potential of catching the one side of the yes, box pleat yes. as well, so it won't open up and bag out as much as it needs yeah. to. So for me, it just makes it a lot easier to do that. Okay. So there you go. There's our one. So you see how my pocket is overlapping? And yes. this is what I talked about. This is actually the side of the bag here. That's the side of the bag. And the pocket wraps around it. So the seam will actually be on the back. And there'll also be a seam, seam in the front. On this side, but yes. because it's where we're sewing, you won't see it. So it's almost invisible anyway. Yes. OK, so again, I'm opening that out, moving it out of the way, searching for my next pocket, which is here. And then again, the top bit there. And again, this is where this, this stripe really does help you out. You don't really need to be adding any no. extra marks in there at all. Okay, and there's our third box pleat. So again, just to, just to recap, in the instructions, your front and back piece with the handles would already be attached together, along with my pockets, front and back would be attached, so I'd be working in a round, right. okay? So it's not flat out like this. I've only done it this way so you can clearly see what I'm showing, so make sure you don't do this at yes, home, yeah. okay? So now we've got some really clear pockets that we need to be sewing in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. <clears throat> just watch them move the pin out of the way. So when you get to the top of your pocket it's entirely up to you how far you want to go with it I actually prefer to go over the the binding the mock binding if you like yeah um, and go back and forth but try not to go over the binding from a, a look point of view so you don't want to be stitching past that point okay it just gives it a nice clean finish um, and if you wanted to um, I suppose you could do a T-section, which is very similar to what we talked about with the triangles in the pockets. Yes. But because you've got this extra bagging in the box pleat anyway, um, I, th I don't think you need no. to. But you can see how that's just sitting nicely now. You can get in there very easily with your sewing machine without sewing your box pleat down. I think what you need to do is, before you make it, you, you'll have an idea of what you're going to be using it for. And if you're going to be putting heavier than average things in mm -hmm. the pockets, then reinforce them at this stage, because nothing worse than making the bag, yeah. putting something heavy in the pocket, and the stitch is coming away. At least this way, if you think, right, now yeah. I know that I'm gonna have, I don't know, I'm, I keep saying gin bottles, but I don't mean gin bottles, but I'm gonna have something heavy. Well, I think this would be a really good um, nursery bag, wouldn't it? With oh, all yes, the, um, yes, nappies and nappies all that sort of stuff. Nappies and bottles yeah. and all those um, 
things, creams and lotions, everything you need for babies. It'd be a really nice bag. Um, what I was going to say, um, talking about uh, added security, maybe and for a little bit of detail, actually, mm. if I just bring it over, why not pop like little buttons, like sew buttons oh, in there? Because yes. again, that would just gives that further anchoring in the Definitely. tops of those pockets. So yeah, just pop a little button in there. Because that that's extra, extra yeah, security, ex isn't extra, it? One, not only will it give you extra security, but just extra little Peaky bow. Detail, yeah, exactly. Peaky bow detail. Okay, so that's two of the pockets um, sewn in already, so you, you get the gist, okay? Yes. So you just repeat the process, and again, just to recap, this is in the round. This would all be in a circular motion, but I'll yes. just spread it out flat so you can see clearly what I'm doing. So it's not massively complicated, but like I said, there's a lot of process to it. So the last thing you need to do now, again, is just to make sure... Um, that you do a stay stitch down the edge of the bag, the raw side of the bag, and that's to secure your box pleat bottoms. Okay, so it's not the top section, it's just the bottoms. Okay, and do you stitch the stay stitch within your yeah. seam allowance? I'm glad you said that, John. So the seam allowances are one centimetre, so this stitch needs to be inside of that, so half a centimetre. So you never need to take it out. So it like will that. not be removed. Yeah. So again, it adds structure to the bag, but it's also doing the purpose, which is keeping these box pleats in place. So I'm going to do that very quickly, okay. um, and. Then yeah, we can get on with the, and then we can get on with the bottom of the bag. All right. Make sure I remove my pins. So there's quite a lot of bulk going on in here already. I've got the stock warning. Uh oh. Sorry, Jennifer. There are less than ten of these left. Less than ten of these bundles left. Now this is the ivory and blue. Is it this one's called? We just put the graphics in. There's less than ten left. I'm not surprised. It is a beautiful, beautiful. There you go. Blue and ivory, it's called. Blue and ivory. There's less than ten. And there's a couple with uh, that. Right. So there's less than ten left. And there's a few people with it in their baskets. So that means that if those people check out, there's only a few, uh, really a handful left. OK. So there's our, our bag, our pockets done. Yep. Love that. Nice and deep pocket. <laughs> OK. So now this will start to create the shape that you're probably now used to when we talk about totes. OK. Yes. So this is the base of our bag. And this needs to be attached on like so. So again, remember, this is going to be in a circle. Yes. All right. Um, so I'm just going to sew that straight first. Yep. Uh, 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 when it's in a circle, is the other half of this stitched there yet or not? Um, no. So um, what you would need to do is it would be stitched if I get the other piece yeah. for you sorry I just um no it's a good question it's a good question and I think because oh, I like your trousers I've not noticed all that matador detail oh. down the side you can't see that at home down the side of Jennifer's she's got uh, quite tight trousers on down the side it's like um, I feel like I need to get my leg yeah go then <laughs> there you go look they're like matador <laughs> trousers aren't they sorry. they are like matador trousers not that we agree, I agree with bullfighters or anything like that, but I, I like their outfit. I like their outfits. I like their outfits, I just don't like what they do. <laughs> yes. Right, okay, so what you would have done is you would have sewn this section and that section. Yeah. So these edges, leave the squares yeah. and sew the bottom section. Right. So again, this is all very familiar to you, isn't it? Okay, because normally the bag would continue all the way up, but it's not been attached yet. Yes, the right? two, two there, so that would be stitched, not here, not here, but along there. Along the bottom. And, and along the there, and along there. Yeah. Right. So it, let's imagine that that process has been yes, done. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, so then once you've got that process done, that's when you would then attach the base of the bag, sorry, the base of the bag. I was going to say, yeah to the top of the bag. And again, remember this would have already been, in, we're all working in circles, okay? Yes. So normally with a tote, you do the flat bits first and then you make it circular, whereas we're doing it in reverse. Everything seems like it's in reverse. It's a bit like more than a reverse. tote bag, really, isn't it? It's tote like bag you think of as... It's the ultimate tote bag, yes. I think. Yes, exactly. It's really, really good. Okay, so again, we've got a lot, quite a lot of bulk in here, guys. So let the machine... Um, just take its time. So if you do have a walker as well, that might just help help it along a little bit. But you don't need to worry about those box pleats anymore because your stay stitching is doing all of that yes, job exactly. for you, okay? Oh, teal bundle. Which one? That bundle that Jennifer's using is now down to sing single figures? Single figures. My word. Go. That's it. Yes. 
So there's your bag. So that's what the front of it would look like in that colour combination. Yes. It's gorgeous, oh, it's isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. So um, the only thing that would be left now is to sew your um, your darts in. Yes. That would give you your base, the bag, the base I'll show you bag. where that is on the on real life here. So that's that bit there. Okay. So that this section here is this section here. Is that here. bottom section yeah. there. So there's the seam, the long seam there. And then this here are these two darts here. Yep. Okay. So that's there. Okay, yep. so that's the outside of the bag done. So your handles are done, your box pleat pockets on the complete round of the bag are done. So the only thing left now is the lining. Yes. Okay, so let me just go and get that. But the lining, as you can see, has got um, also got pockets in. So you've got the plain lining, but with the ticking lining, it is got everything, isn't it, here? Okay, oh, let's get that one. Right. Right. Right, 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 right. Okay, so here we have our lining fabric. So again, this is probably the tote that you're familiar with, where it's one piece, you've got your yes. little squares cut out in the middle, you would sew down the length, sew down the bottom, and sew in the dart. So this is all very familiar to us. Um, however. However, <laughs> we're going to be adding a pocket, okay? Um, so I'm going to be, there's a placement line here, because it's actually a sew and flip pocket. Right. Okay, and that'll make more sense in a moment. Yes. Okay, so we've got a little bit of detail on here. So I've already, unfortunately, already removed my um, pattern from my fabric. Right. So I'm going to do a, a different method where I'm going to take my ruler and take a few measurements from the pattern and then transfer them onto my fabric instead. Because it, it always happens sometimes. Yeah, you go, yeah, yeah. oh, I forgot that line. It was yeah. so obvious, but I missed it. So all I'm going to do is take my ruler right. and take a measurement. So it's one and a quarter away from the, the cut edge of what would be the dot for the base of my bag. Right. Okay, so I've got that measurement. So now I can use my ruler and again, my handy tools. So I was going to use this oh, one. Oh, you can use that one? I've not seen that one Ooh, before. Oh, this one's a nice one. I like it. Okay. What's this then? So this is the prim one. Um, I really like it because it's nice and clean. Yeah. It's just using sort of standard tailor's chalk, but very similar to our cutting oh, wheel. It's, it's got... It's Oh, it's got a little a little turning point on there. So it's got like a chasing wheel inside, but With it's going chalk. to distribute um, tailor's chalk. The tailor's chalk. So if I just... Oh, this is new. I like it. Buy this. Five pounds. Now, can you fill it with... Uh, can you get... Uh, well, I should, I should know this. You can. So you can put... I'm not going to pop it off because no, it'll no, no, just no. go everywhere. But you, you basically pop that off and you can refill it. OK, it is refillable. At the moment, there's none available, but we'll be getting some more in stock. So I'm just being told The refills? Hand. Yes. Oh, OK. Oh, look. Nice and bright, isn't it? Just lovely. Love oh, it. Oh, so much clean, because, I mean, I do love tailor shorts, it's what I was trained with, but afterwards, you're like... You just get it all over you, don't yes, you? Exactly. Whereas if you're this working is not, this on is nice a and dark handy. garment, you get it every, it's fingerprints get everywhere. everywhere. But it's just a really nice little kit tick. And they've also got another option there where it's just got a... It's more like a palm. Oh, hang on, hang on. One. So that's that one. That was the one that the graphics were now for £5.45. pence. That's really nice. And I then what's... Oh, sorry, and then so that's exactly the same process, but it's, I think it's just a little bit more ergonomic on the hands, that's all. So if this is a little oh, bit too... Oh, I like too, this one. Yeah, well, I like that one. I feel it fits nice nicely Nice aubergine colour. So that's the, that's the stick wheel there. That's that one. And then this one, the ergonomic one. Exactly oh, oh now this one's good, because you can see how much um, chalk, chalk you've got, you've got in got. there. Mm -hmm. Have a little go. And is it the same play. thing? Oh, yes. Ooh. I sorry. like the noise it makes. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've gone a little bit wobbly. But it comes off. Da, yeah, da, da. brilliant. Oh, it comes off. Oh, fantastic. Buy those. You like those, don't you? I like those. You like those. One's called a mouse. One's called a stick. <laughs> Are they the same price then? Yeah, five ninety five. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. So now I've got my placement line. Now I know how to where to put my pocket. Yeah. Sorry, we completely okay. got waylaid. No, then, no, didn't it's we? fine. It's absolutely fine. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just blowing away my excess chalk. Okay. It. So um. Your pocket, and this one, it's not a lining. There is a lining, but you're not having to sew it in. So it's just right. a piece of material folded, folded. in half. Yeah. So it's double-sided. Nice, clean finish on the edge there, because it's on the fold. So that's going to be your top edge, then, the fold. That's yeah. going to be your top edge. Right, OK. And I've already gone ahead. You can see in my... Uh, you might see on the screen. I'm not sure. Yeah, I've yeah, already marked yeah. the seam allowance in blue. OK, yeah. so that's already gone ahead. So now it's about putting it onto that placement line that I've just made with my chalk, my tailor's chalk. Oh, I see. Okay. Yep. 
There you go. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm just going to sew straight down. Okay. Okay. And I know where the seam allowance is because I marked it out. Whereas yes. if you've got this under the machine, and I'll show you what I mean now, there is no point of reference, is there? Because you, your fabric's all over it. Yeah. Unless you know your machine inside and out, you're not going to know what the edge of the foot is. It, it, it's not a one centimeter anyway, it's just shy of it. Yes. So there is no guide for me. So again, marking it out on your fabric, which will come out, because obviously it's all, it's just a tail, it's a temporary mark. You're still able to get that accuracy without having to guess. So I'm just going to go straight all the way down. <laughs> there are a lot of words were coming out then. Um, you've not finished that edge. Would you maybe zigzag that edge or over yes, the edge? Yes, John. I was going to do that next. It's good, though. I only asking. It's good. So you're very right, John. We've got lots of raw edges on here. So I was going to zigzag and what would be sort of overcast it. All right. you, bless you. you know there's a machine uh, there's a stitch on that one you can is there yeah Ooh. <laughs> what are you saying hannah i need teal to... bundle oh i've lost you i lost you completely then where is it number 14. yeah you'd have to shout it just cuts out yeah on this one right if everyone checks out the basket there's only two left of those So I'm using number 14 on this machine, which is like an over, over casting. So you're zigzagging it to, actually to the lining. Yeah. Right. Can you see? Jill. Jill says, I love the bag. Behave yourself, Jennifer. Behave myself? Oh no, John. Behave yourself, John. I was going to say. Jennifer. I'm not being, why am I being <laughs> naughty? He's been horrible to me, isn't he? I am not. I just asked a question if you were going to think exactly. And you called me a bag in the first hour. I said you were making a big bag no, in the first No, you did, hour. and I heard what you said. <laughs> that was an old bag, apparently. <laughs> uh, by the way, by the way, well, I, I, we're just joking. We are just joking. We are joking. No, we are joking. Yeah, we are just joking. Just check there. Um, only because only because people write in going, you have no respect for Jennifer no, Taylor. No, 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 not me. No, no, you not are you, completely me. playing me up, yeah. and I know very well. And you're playing I, up I as am, much. I am yeah, exactly. completely playing up as well. Like I say, until I'm... she punches me in the room <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So I've, I know there's like little tassely bits there, but you can go in with. Uh, oh, your duck bill scissors would be good on those. Um, I'm saying nothing. Um, but the, I've zigzagged the edge, so you can see that it's not coming back on yes, itself. Exactly, it's, all, yeah. it's all nice and secure. Okay, so now you would get your iron out and press that pocket flat. Right. Would you like the iron out? Go on then, let's do it properly, <sighs> being as we've got time. Yes, actually, <laughs> I'll hold the iron in case you... <laughs> yeah. We're being naughty today, aren't we? We are being naughty today. Thank you, my darling. I'll just watch no. from here. <laughs> He's there, he's just hiding around the corner. No, they can see me on that one, number four, watch. <laughs> oh no, there you go. It's like you're gonna do some cooking or something. So watch what she's doing. Right, so I've pressed my um, pocket over. And again, we're just gonna go in with a nice press. Now, again, these pockets are yours. You can do with them as you will. So on the pattern, um, it states to just sew Two lines of stitching, like so. Right. But you could make them different sizes. Oh, you because if, you yeah, if you're going to use it to have pencils and things like that in, you can yeah, make yeah. Them so narrow, you could just do you? like lots of small ones yeah. if you wanted to. But in essence, you're starting here and sewing up towards the top. So again, you might want to do that little triangle if you wanted to to, to get some secure. So I'll just sew a few pockets in, um, so you just can see what we're doing. I'm thinking people who make their own jewellery now, and you could have it wide enough for each because they have all those funny. Oh, well Nozzle-ended pliers and things like that, don't they? They could make all of those pockets the right size for each yes, you can implement get... that you're going to use, don't well, they? Well, you bring your tools in, so whatever tool you're going to yes, be going yes. for, you know, take a measurement, make sure it's doing it right. Let's just do another one very quickly. So I am securing at the very bottom and at the very top with this. Uh, Jennifer's the best teacher ever. I've got her book, thank you, from Sandy in Cornwall. Oh, thank you, Sandy. That's really kind. And then Sandra, oh, we've got Sa Sandy and Sandra, weren't they the two off um, Gogglebox? Sandra says, don't mess with John, you'll lose. 
<laughs> I don't I know it. Don't I know it? <laughs> right, okay, so I've just I've just sewn one pocket in. Yes. But again, the size of your pockets is entirely up to you. And bearing in mind you could do this on a double. I've only done one side in my lining, but you could do another pocket it's on the other side. On how many got. Now that's the difference to the outside lining, yeah, isn't so it? That the, they're yeah. flat lining. They're flat, so you can see that they're nice and snug. But with the outside pockets, because of that little box um, box pleat that we've got, it just gives you a lot of, it's a bigger pocket yes, to exactly. put things in. So and also you wouldn't want a big pocket on the inside, really, because it's going to kind of fill, fill in your, your, your bag. Your inner your workings, yes, exactly. absolutely. So a nice close uh, pocket on the inside and you've got your nice box pleat pockets on the outside. Fantastic. So that's it. Are you finished? We've I can be. <laughs> All right. Well, um, if I just show you how to sew the lining yes, together, please. because I think then that will just help explain. Oh, no, you can do it, and you can take us through. You can take us through. Yeah, you sew the lining together, and then you can show us how you put it in, because you've got a box bottom and everything in there, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. So it's you've long got six minutes. Just saying. Six that. minutes. I said ten. Six. I was exaggerating. Oh, John, you and your exaggerations. Right, okay, so it's just a straight stitch all the way down the long length. So the important thing is that you don't um, sew those squares. Leave those squares alone. Yeah. I get used to that putting. Love it. I want, some, I want this machine now. I knew it would happen. I knew I, I the minute... I can tell you what, 999. I just knew as min the minute I started using it, uh, I'd get £2.95 posted packaging. I can pick it up. Oh. Just bring it here, I'll pick it up. Is it, are they near you then? I don't know where they well, are. No, I come doesn't here, come, don't no, I? No, it doesn't come from here. Oh, um, it's direct place and drop or whatever they call it from oh, Elna. I see. Oh, right. What do they call it when, they, when, you, when it comes <coughs> from the source? It's got a special... And these, I'm learning ship? so much. What? Drop ship. There you go. What's okay, so it will have to be delivered then. Yeah. Okay, so there's that but one. But still, still only two ninety five. <laughs> if you bought a sewing machine and something of everything else, still in two ninety five for the whole day, you don't pay extra for right, the I still can't figure out how you do that. No, I don't. Amazing. Either. Well... Have you not heard? You, it's your turn next week to do the delivering. You get <laughs> Is that all the how they do it? <laughs> in your neighbourhood. You know, there's a shop, I think it's Next, when you buy something from Next. A, a van doesn't turn up. It's like a person in a car, isn't it? And they, they, they have, like, local delivery people. Who really? Just, yeah, you're not noticed. No, uh, I don't really buy anything. Oh, sorry. I make, I make it all, of course you do. I make it all. Well, they yeah. okay. have vases as well. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next number. Oh, there you go, hang okay. on. June, I love you two together. The banter is great. What hour are you talking about now, June? <laughs> this tote is fabulous. I love a bo a, bo a bag with pockets. I love a bag with pockets. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so sorry. I just snorted. I'm so sorry. Just snorted. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just sorry. I need to... Just so. Yep, I can't get out right now. Mm. Right, so box bottom. <sighs> oh, you do make me flush, John. Sorry, I was just reading out what June said. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> so right. now, now I'm sewing my uh, my bottom in. Yes. <clears throat> your uh, and my uh, box. Your squared off my, bottom. I squared box off bottom. bottom. So um, if I just come around here and. So in. that's the equivalent of when you've sewn a normal tote bag straight down, straight across. Absolutely. You take the corners like mm. that and you sew across and you chop it off, don't yeah. you? We'll do a, a uh, yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Um, whereas this is, the, it, you, this is basically a dart. So yes. going back to the skirt we did in, in my first hour, this is a dart. It's just that it's creating the base for your, your bag. Yes. So how I do that and to make sure I'm doing it right, I get my fingers and I put it through the hole and I kick them out. Like that, I kick them out. Yeah. Okay, so then that allows the, um, the seam allowances to join together. So this is where you want to kind of do your um, your quilting technique, where you um, place yeah. one of the seams to one side, one seams to the other, and you just wriggle them until they butt up, and you'll feel it. You'll at home, you'll understand what I mean. Nestling, it's, it's they nestling, call it, don't they? nestling together. So while you can feel that it's nestling, get your pin and pop it down the seam, like so. Okay, so you okay. know those seams are meeting up. So again, that gives you a really nice professional finish at the bottom of your bag. But the real, real important thing here is that these edges here, where you're, the edges of your dart, that they are flat. Yeah. That they are completely flat. What we don't want is that. We don't want any puckering at all. So make sure that it's nice and flat before you sew. Yeah. And you're literally going to sew across the bottom of it. And I'll do that very quickly on this side, and okay. then I'll show you. You've got a couple of minutes to think, haven't you? Oh, and then I'm going to go cry yes oh that was you've so got fun. more filming to do haven't you afterwards i have we're gonna have to, to reapply my makeup yeah. oh brilliant 
That's why we all have to leave the building. <laughs> no, not, really? not because you're putting your makeup on. Because <laughs> um, you're filming in there, apparently, in, okay. in the main office. We all have to leave. Right, so there, that's what the stitch line looks like. <clears throat> yeah. Got that? Okay. Stitch line? Okay. Perfect. So now I'm going to turn it inside out to reveal our base. Okay. So you can see how the, um, the side seam and the base seam are joining up, and you've got that nice, all the points are matching. And I can show you that inside the bag, because obviously you've got your box bottom inside the bag there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's okay. the same on the outside as the same on the inside. So then, <clears throat> yep. you've got your outside bag made, you've got your lining made. Yep, so what you would then do is leave the lining inside out like so. Yeah. You place that inside the bag. Right. And then all you would need to do then is your binding. So what that is, is just a strip of fabric. And again, you've got a pattern piece for that. This is why it's all about the pattern pieces. Yeah. Okay, so you've got a nice strip there. It's oh, they actually, <coughs> excuse me, they actually give you a, pa a yeah. pattern piece so for the binding as well. Yeah, so it will fit, if you've done your seam allowances accurately, then it will fit completely. So all you would need to do on this one, again, is folding it in half with and press it. Yes. Um, you would sew this raw edge <coughs> to the raw edge of your bag. Because this is a raw edge at the moment. Yeah, as well to the raw it. edge of your bag like that, okay, like so. Once you've stitched all the way around, that would then be folded and then folded again to create your binding. Okay, so that's just a double folded piece of fabric. And you've hand whipped and it. And again, I've hand stitched it. I just like the way it finishes. You've not got the stitching on the outside. It just gives you a really nice, clean finish on the inside. And I just think it's a nice, the quiet time. You've been at your sewing machine, doing your bag, and they have a nice bit of lap sewing. Yeah, exactly. Nice exactly. And you could, if you wanted <clears> to, if you like top stitching, you could top stitch in the ditch there, but then you've always got, you see, the way with the hand stitching, you know that it's going to all fit nicely. Whereas if you stitch in the ditch there, sometimes that's it. moved and you miss it. And there's you nothing it. worse is there than seeing it beautifully sewn and then it falls Missing off it. and then goes along there because yeah, exactly. you can't, you can't leave that as it is. But that's it. That's your, that's your tote with all the pockets. It's what, what? That's your tote with all the pockets. Thank you, Jennifer. And honestly, honestly, honestly. Now we are the best of friends. There you go. Right. Where's, where, where have you put the mouse? There. Thank you. When are you in next? Next week, I think. Oh, are you next week? Yeah, why am I putting that way? Sorry. I'm right, I'm going. I'll see you later. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> uh, right, I've got the bundles and I've got my two chalk sticks I've got from her. I'm going to start with the chalk sticks. Right, so one's a stick and one's a mouse. This is the stick. Some fabric. Very, very popular. Thank you, Jennifer. So, if instead of having a tailor's chalk, you take the top off, you fill it, it's already filled with that chalk. And you can literally just use it, look, to mark seam allowances or darts or anything you want to. It's brilliant. It's, and then you don't get any on your hands because you know with Taylor's chalk, you always, inevitably always get chalk on, on your hands. So this is the stick, right? That's the stick. And then this is the mouse. Now, the difference about the mouse is it's ergonomically designed so you can hold it differently. But also, it looks like a little window. So you can see how much chalk's in there. Again, take the top off. I love these. I've not seen these before. And then literally, you just, if there's a little wheel with a, a, a ser not a serrated edge. What's that, what's that edge? It's like a pie cutter, isn't it? Pie frill cutter. A bumpy edge, as Hannah would say. Uh, that's the mouse, and it's five pounds and 95 pence. Right, I'm good. Bundles. Oh, let's start with the teal one. So, you get half a metre of your um, ticking. Is that right? Oh, very, very limited. Right, you need to check out your basket. If you want this, you need to check out your basket. Actually, how much do you get? You get half a metre of this one, don't you? Yeah, I've said that. How many yardage-wise? Yeah, I thought half a metre. Cotton canvas, half a metre, and then two metres of the um, Macara. Yeah, and you get the thread, and you get the interfacing, and you get the wadding. Jay's taken the wadding away. And you get the wadding. We didn't even show where the wadding went. The wadding goes on your, on your lining, on your lining. Next. Orange one. Jay, you've taken away the, 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 the wadding. Uh, orange. This is lovely. We love this colourway. 
Oh, no, we haven't done tomorrow's menu yet either. Uh, you get the same again, orange, orange, blue, and the thread, and the interfacing, and the uh, wadding. £35.95. Last, oh, that one sold out. That one's almost sold out. Almost sold out. If everyone checks out the baskets, that's all gone. Tomorrow's menu. There we go. It's me tomorrow. It's not me tomorrow. Uh, quintessential quilting. Stash building hour at 8 o'clock. Lucy's quilting corner at 9 o'clock. So useful at 10 o'clock. And Lucy's quilting corner at 11 o'clock. No idea, but I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Um, we're off. Thanks, Jennifer. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Thank you so much. I'm sorry about all the chaos today. I'll make sure Jay does better tomorrow. Bye. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com.